Hello and welcome to Spoilers Intended, a podcast about series and films. I'm Ryan, joined as always by Andrew. Hello. And Stephen. Hi, 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 hi. And in this very special unscripted episode, we are going to be nominating entries for the Spoily Awards. Now, what are the Spoily Awards? What are the Spoily Awards? Actually, I'll do you one better. How do you spell Spoily? This is a, a subject of contention and we will discuss it right now. So the Spoily Awards... Is it S P O I L Y? That's how I have it spelled. That's how. See, that's see, how Ryan spelled it, and so I think the the initial reading has stuck in your mind. I spelled it one time S P O I L E E. I mean, that's, see, that's kind of spoilie, close. But you can call it spoilies. So the spoilies. Then it could also be S P O I L I E. It could be. Yes, yeah. very easily. <laughs> so the spoilies. S P O I L. I E S. I like that one too. Is yeah. the shorthand for it, right? The spoilies. Spoilies, right? yeah. Like saying the Oscars, the yeah. spoilies. Oh, okay. So if that's the shorthand, does it have to be the Spoily Awards? S P O I L I E? No, the spoily it has to be Y. So it has to be Y when it's singular. The double E just doesn't make sense. Yeah, the no double L, no double E. That's right out. Does any of this make sense? No. Though? No. no. <laughs> okay, good. So what are we landing on? I think L L Y L Y when it's like the spoiler award. Yes, shorthand. The spoilies. The spoilies. It's the plural. Yes. I E S. Yes. yes. Well, welcome aboard. That was easy. There's <laughs> no no dissension. Yeah. No discussion. <laughs> here. Not at all. Okay. So, what are the spoilies? What are the spoily awards? This is it's our version of the Oscars. Our the version, better version. The Academy the, is wrong. They don't know how to put things together. Yes, exactly. So we don't have any arbitrary weird rules. No, no but we except we, we definitely do. do. Except we, we do. definitely do. Yes, I take everything I said just back. Um, okay, so the way this works is our nominations are only from episodes of our podcast. Things we've reviewed things on the podcast. Reviewed the podcast. From yeah. January of last year to the end of January this year. It guarantees we've watched it. Yeah. It guarantees it's on our mind. Yeah, and the big thing here is is that mm. unlike the Oscars, which only look at a single year, we look at multiple years of yeah. content. So, so right. Anything we reviewed, we could be putting 1985 up against 2022, yeah. up against 1990. So you can have some really weird corner uh, cases. Matthew yeah, we reviewed stuff from the 90s. We, with Tim Curry. Yeah, we like, have what's happening yeah. here? We have TV <laughs> shows it. going up against movies, going up against anime. Oh, it's like we're like the, the Emmys and the Oscars all rolled together. Pretty much. Put some Grammy Awards in oh, there. Some music. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So anyways, what we're going to do, the way this episode's going to work, is we're going to go category by category, right? I'm going to name the category, kind of describe it. We're, we're going to nominate our list, and then yeah. we're going to go through and so, pair that list down. So each each of us brought a list of nominations for this. We're going to pair yeah. this list down. And once we have the list together, and you're listening to us do this process on air right <laughs> This now. is live. We have we not have, talked to each other about our list. We've not yeah. discussed this. Once we have that list paired down, the voting will go up live for all of our listeners. If you're in the Discord, if you're following us on socials, if you can find us in the streets. It'll can, also be linked on our website. It'll be on yes. the website. Yeah. You it can will, get it, a link to the form to vote. Right yeah, now, as a, you're hearing this, the form is live. It's out yes. there. You it, can it, vote. It's just a Google form, really easy to fill out. Yeah. You just put in your email, and there you go. Pick the options. Un, instead of us just picking the winners, yes. and that's that lame. being the spoilers. We want you to pick the winners. We want you to pick the winners. Oh, we're going to help. We got, we got nominated. I mean, I'm still going to vote. I'm going to vote, but we're oh, nominating for sure. too. We're going to help. Don't worry. When that happens, right, we will not know the answers to the winners. We're going to get an unbiased third party, and we are going to have the spoilies. One of our wives. One of our wives, probably. (laughs) Totally unbiased. (laughs) Um, We'll go live the same night as the Oscars, both as an episode, like you normally listen to us, and... As a YouTube premiere on our YouTube channel. Oh, you yes. can see what Ryan looks so like. So you will see the video of me and all of my sexual energy. <laughs> we're be incredible. We're going to wear uh, t-shirt tuxedos. We might. Have or some beer. Maybe I won't even wear a shirt. Who knows what's going to happen on the do, spoilies. Please don't do that. Do you know how cold you would be? <laughs> yeah, exactly, I'm Steven. make sure that the basement is very cold that night. How much, how much baby oil do you have here? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't have a kiddie pool. I'm sorry. Well, not yet. <laughs> that's not that's not very exclusive. Anyways, the point is <laughs> we're, this episode is Patreon dollars and right <laughs> out. Yeah. Just, FBI, what? Hello? Yeah, no, so this episode, first half of it, we're just gonna get all of the possible, you know, things in the field out there, and then you're gonna listen to us hash it down to the final list. Mm-hmm. That, that will go as quickly as possible, but yeah. it's going to be a long episode. Also, spoilers are going to be everywhere, everywhere. for yes. all of the content that we have reviewed there's, this there's year. There's no way to talk about this. Yeah, there, yeah. I mean we won't get 
get like knee deep into some spoilers, but, but we might mention a couple of these. Dumbledore <laughs> <laughs> with a machete. <laughs> okay. So are we ready to start? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's do it. Okay. Starting off with our first award. We first called this category. one the Heavy Lifting Award, okay? Now, this is for the actor or actress that carried a lesser movie or series on their back. So, like, an actor that went above and beyond everything mm-hmm. else about the movie or show was, like, mediocre, but That's this fine, one person yeah. just they, they really, it. They really lifted it up. Yeah, so we're going to start with Steven. Steven, oh boy, I want no you pressure. to list all the, the nominate, possible nominations that you all have. All my choices. Yeah, yeah just quickly choices. down the so, list. So, yeah. first up, we got Jason Momoa for Fast X. Got it. Next yeah. up, we have Timothy Dalton for The Living Daylights. Ooh. Ooh. That's it. Can the, can the leading man be the one? Yeah, he can. To hold it up? I think that's, so, that's, yeah. That's, that's like the definition of a leading. What, that that's kind of is, job. yeah. Uh, next up, we have Tim Curry for Clue. Okay. It's a good choice. And then my final is a group nomination. Oh. I want to nominate the Teenage Turtles for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Interesting. I think the four of them carried that film. Wow. Those okay. are actually some pretty interesting uh, twists. I, I'm, those are, none of those were get, on mine. Trying, <laughs> well, I can't. I figured for sure Jason Momoa was going to be on people's lists. Right. Um, um, Andrew. Okay, so here's mine. Uh, I have Tim Curry for Clue. Oh, shocker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have Jonathan Majors for Ant Man and the Wa- or Ant Man okay. and Quantum All right. That's not where I, what I would have picked him for. Well, no, but see, that's the thing though. He didn't need to hold up Creed three. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, I have Ray Stevenson for Ahsoka. Oh, I like that choice. That's a good choice. I didn't yeah. even think about Ahsoka. And then I have Philip Seymour Hoffman, Mission Impossible oh, 3. Yeah, that's oh, a good one. God, that's a good one, too. <laughs> you had the list. I know. It was there. It was. <laughs> and that was MI3? Yes. Yeah. And Jonathan Majors from Ant-Man. Okay. Ant-Man, yeah. Just making sure because he didn't all. need to hold up Creed 3. Creed 3 was already a good film. Sure. Yeah. All right, here's mine real quick. I had Daniel Craig in Glass Onion. Okay. I, I mean, all that's, right. I, I, yeah, fair enough. Fair I can, enough. Fair, I can agree that's a good that. choice. Yeah. That's a good choice. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito in Kaleidoscope. Ooh. I don't know if anyone could, could hold that one up to its height. Yeah. I don't know. It's, that one's tough. Okay. Uh, and Madeline Univoyles in The Creator. Ooh. Oh, man. That's a good pick, too. It is a good pick. Okay. All right. All right. All I, right. I like, uh, we, we all, we had one overlap. One overlap. That's actually yeah. pretty impressive. I'm yeah. It, I'm extremely impressed. Okay. So let me run through the list again. <laughs> Real quick. Okay, so we have Jason Momoa from Fast X, mm-hmm. Timothy Dalton from The Living Daylights, mm-hmm. Tim Curry from Clue, yeah. Andrew also uh-huh. yeah, voted that one, Teenage Mutant Turtle or the Turtles yeah, in as a group, Mutant yeah. Mayhem, Mayhem. Uh, Jonathan Majors from Ant Man, Ray Stevenson from Ahsoka, Philip Seymour Hoffman from MI3, Daniel Craig in Glass Onion, Giancarlo Esposito from uh, Kaleidoscope, and Madeline Univoyles from The Creator. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. So I feel like. To me, the reason I didn't put Tim Curry on there is because I like a lot of the people in Clue. I don't think it's just Tim I, Curry. I do too, but I think back he to does our great. episode. But yeah, it, it, he was the yes. shining like, star. If you replace that position with almost any other actor, it just doesn't working work in well. that era. That movie doesn't work. Very true. Okay, yeah. so I think Tim Curry has to be on the list. I th- I, we're, right? we're, we are already sixty six percent on board with that idea. At the yeah. Start of this, so. <laughs> right. So okay, no even can do math. All right. So So I'll definitely, I definitely will say, I really think that Jason Momoa was the best part of fast. I I think he was again, going back to that. I was just going up and down the list thinking about what do we say in these? What do we, yeah, we kept talking about his performance, but did he prop the entire movie? up? That's the thing. The movie's not that great. The thing is the movie is not good. He's the, He's the sh- borderline he, like, the only yeah. tent pole sticking up. Okay, now I'll, I'll go with I'll, that. I will push back though. I don't mm. think the turtles for Team and Team Mutant Mayhem would be considered in this kind of category. To me, I liked Superfly and Splinter yeah, a lot. See, I think there's a I, lot I, of other good Splinter, characters, so I think that's a that's a fair argument. Yeah, that's I don't think they argument. need to be on this list. I still like them. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean they did fantastic, yeah. but I think the movie itself wasn't bad enough. To there wasn't, there yeah. didn't have to be someone out there just carrying the load. Correct. Yeah, yeah. they fair. just did. A, they had really good um, uh, chemistry. Chemistry. Their I, chemistry yeah. is so good. I'm going to push back on Timothy Dalton in the Living Daylights. I would also push I back. Get out of here, Man just because it. The, I think the, he does elevate the movie, but it's still it's the it's Living still Daylights. A good movie. He's not quite in his Bond. Yeah. like uh, rhythm yet, I which disagree. he only had two movies to do it. <laughs> so, yeah. how do we feel about? Jonathan Majors. I, even then, so, I, that was kind of a weak choice for me too. I'm, I'm not gonna mm. lie. I, I 
looked at Jonathan Majors for a few things here. I was like, I don't know if I want to put him on any list, just given the uh, sure. The, 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 I am, I am trying to look at like, it from I'm this unbiased, it. It. unbiased paper. but just given the the circumstances around, I was like, I, I don't really see. My my thing so with him and Ant Man was just that like they didn't give him enough. They didn't to give do. him enough, yeah. so he didn't have the ability to carry the movie on his yeah, back. Not, like I said, it was a weak choice. We can take that one out too. Anybody say so? What about Ray Stevenson in a sense? Yeah, he needs to be included. That was a really good pick. I think that he. He really elevated every single scene that he was in. He added yeah. so much like like gravitas to yeah. it. Like it was just such such a All big right. step. So right now we have three. Mm-hmm. We have Tim Curry, Jason Momoa, Ray Stevenson. We want to get to six, right? Uh, we well, don't have, we have to get to, get to six. We don't have to. Okay. Six is what, the cap. what was the uh, what was the, you had uh, Daniel Craig? So we got Philip like, Seymour Hoffman and MI three. That's I think, a good. I think that's a good. But choice. see, the thing is, that's not a bad movie. Mm. It's already a really good film. I mean. But he doesn't. He certainly does the high point. Carry the movie on his back. He certainly does I mean, the high that, point. Yeah, because Tom Cruise is still very good in that film. He runs really good, and he like, does things run really good. Yeah. Running, so, yeah. like to me, that one's hard because That's when fair. I think of heavy like, lifting, it's I'm a thinking really like, good performance. Without Philip Seymour Hoffman, the movie would fall apart. I don't know if that holds up with MI three. That's fair. It wouldn't be as good. Yeah, but it yeah. wouldn't fall apart. Okay, you know, I, I okay. can agree with that. Daniel Craig and Glass Onion. Now, I think I definitely I think agree with that. That's a good one. call out because so? yes, if he's sir. not in either of the Knives Out films, I don't think they work. I don't think they work. I don't think Anna they work. De Armas is in the first one. You take it back. Well, okay, yeah, th- that is fair. No, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the wrong side of history, you gotta Steven. Have, you got to have two to tango here, Ryan. <laughs> oh, I would only. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Giancarlo Esposito for Kaleidoscope. Mm, I don't think there's really much you can save about See, this I one. Think the thing even is, with him. Even Kaleidos- with him? Okay. Kaleidoscope's saving had to happen on the premise, the hyper did, on the premise, yeah. and that fell short. Yeah. So I just When it. I think back to it, all I remember are his was, scenes. Was yeah. <laughs> oh, he was great. He was great. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what about Madeline Univoyles from The Creator? The little girl android. Mm. How do we feel about that? Not that John David Washington did bad. I just don't think that there was even enough there. I think the okay. writing had to save The Creator. And it didn't. And, and it, it didn't. didn't. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we right now we've narrowed it down to four. Yeah. We have Tim Curry, Jason Momoa, Ray Stevenson, and Daniel Craig. I think that's good. I'm Tim pretty, Curry from Clue, okay Jason Momoa from Fast X, Ray Stevenson from uh, Ahsoka, Daniel Craig from Glass Onion. And not to yeah. say there's some recency bias here, but most of these are pretty fresh releases. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay. Relative so to Clue. <laughs> that's our four for heavy lifting. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm here for it. All right. Moving on to number two. Talk to the hand. Now, talk to the hand is a category. That involves hand-to-hand lightsaber swords, improvised weapons, you need et cetera. A fight scene, uh, fight scene. Yeah. actual fight scenes, not not action sequence. Okay, yeah. right. Because there's, we'll get there. there's another. We'll get category. into some we'll discussion there in this category, I believe. So, yeah. okay, hand-to-hand lightsaber. Basically, no shootouts. We're yeah. not talking car chases. We're talking intimate hand-to-hand CQB. Intimate, yes. Ooh, no shootouts. CQC. Yeah, that's not quite how I did it, but all right. <laughs> well, we literally said that, but okay. <laughs> okay. it's well, you're saying now. Right next this time, it. let's start not, with Andrew. It is not. All right, so I'm going to start out with Ramona Flowers versus Roxy, Roxy Ooh, Richter. Good one. Uh, that Scott Pilgrim takes off. Then I have Jackie Chan versus the Mafia in the mall for a police story. Of course, you so do. fast. Hold on. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> right, kid, type. Um, then I have Ip Man versus the 10 Black Belts in Ip Man. Yep. Andrew's favorite fight. Uh, Straw Hats versus the Marines in episode one of One Piece live action. Ooh, I don't know if that one makes the cut for the rest of these so far. I mean, maybe not. It's, yeah. the, it's the weakest so far. Yeah. Uh, and then I have Maximus versus Commodus in Gladiator. Oh, versus oh, man, Commodus. You went hard on this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll go next. All right. So I had a lot of these. So, so I, I had a lot, and I, I pared it down, and I even pared it down as I was reading this. And I okay, was reading. Hard, I'll I went do the hard same thing on these lists. Okay, Creed three, Adonis and Damien, the mm, final fight. All right, got the anime fight in there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a fantastic bout. It is. It yeah. was good. Um, it man versus the ten Japanese ten, yeah. Yeah. That one, police yeah. story mall fight scene. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout, the bathroom brawl. Uh, see, I had that one and I, I took it off. I probably should have swapped I'm, it out I'm for, putting one, it on for one piece, maybe. I don't know. See, see, <laughs> what I did was I made a list. I was like, Andrew's going to have that. I'll have to put on there. Ryan's going to have that. <laughs> right. I, I got I to gotta get weird. I got to get weird. Okay. Um, Ahsoka versus Balin. That was another one I had on my list. No, I, I think it needs to be out. in yeah. here. I didn't, wa- I didn't want there to be Ray Stevenson like bias. I have no problem with no, there being Ray no, Stevenson bias. Ray what Stevenson are you talking bias. about? There yeah. should be Ray Stevenson bias. Um, let me see. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pare down and okay. 
the last one I'll throw on there is Shu Lin versus Jin from Crouching Tiger. Yeah, that's another great Meh. one. Meh. Oh, get out of here. You know, where they're swapping the weapons. Yeah. I mean, the, it's literally just showcasing how good Michelle Yeoh is yeah, as, a, as a martial artist. All right, Stephen, what do you got? All right, so ignoring the things that y'all took <laughs> or that I just didn't bother because I knew you'd take it. Sure. We have 1990s TMNT Rumble in the Apartment Antique Store. Yeah, that one's fun. I don't know if that, that matches up to some of these other ones. It's such a it's such a video game fight where you drop is. down a level. It is. Yeah. yeah. Just, that to me just... Mm. Distractible uh, environments, one of the coolest things out. that has been yeah. added into video games. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mask of Zorro, sword fight in the hall, into the corner. <sighs> oh, see, I had that one on here. I paired it down. I paired okay. that one down, too. Ah, it's too good. It's great. It's too good. Uh, let's see. So this is the this is the wild card. Mm -hmm. This is the opposite of a spectacular fight because it's just the perfect fight. Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, gun versus sword. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. I mean. The progress of technology marches on. <laughs> Uh, and then I also had police story on here because I felt like it sure. had to be. I, I mean, the mall, the not? mall brawl, mall brawl. There we mall go. Mall brawl. There mall it is. Brawl. I was trying to figure how do I like shorthand yeah. this mall brawl, mall brawl. Yep. Yep. It's uh, phenomenal. It's almost like a cigarette, but not quite. <laughs> 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 I remember on your mall brawl. I mean, they were probably all smoking. Back <laughs> oh, they then anyway. oh, I'm sure. Just chain smoking uh, every, every take. Okay, right, that's, that's good. That's me. what you got. That's okay. Good. So let me recap our list real quick. Uh, Ramona Flowers versus who was it again? Roxy Richter. Roxy, Roxy Richter. That's yeah. the movie in the, fight. In the, yeah, in the video. Yeah. Story. That's a really good pick. Yeah, I didn't even think that, that. I didn't either. I'm feel <gasps> stupid for not. Yeah, like, you yeah, not? Ryan. Well, now Scott that you say it, I'm like super man. fan well, over specifically here? that fight. When I thought about that, I was like, yeah, the ending. Uh, I forgot about the video oh, where they're just, bouncing oh, between yeah, the tape. Gosh, man. Yeah, that's very good. Some of the best animation. Uh, of the show. Yeah, Jackie Chan versus Mall Brawl Police Story. It Man versus the Japanese Soldiers. Solid. Um, it, it's black belts. They're black belts. Yeah, they're technically yeah. soldiers too, black but they're black belts. Yeah. Uh, Straw Hats versus the Marines from One Piece. Weak. Maximus <laughs> versus Commodus. Solid. See, I thought about putting Maximus versus. Well, so I tried to look when at they it. do the chariots. I, I, yeah. I had uh, Maximus versus uh, the tig Tigris of Gaul, Tigris the guy. Gaul, yeah. Oh, no, see, I, I love Commodus because you have the emotional weight of the entire film on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of where, like, you. you these movies need to also tell a story yeah. while this is happening. All right, let me get to the list yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Max was versus Commodus. Adonis versus Damian Creed from Creed 3. Uh, Mission Impossible Fallout with the Bathroom Brawl. Yep. Ahsoka versus Balin. Uh, Shu Lin versus Jin, Crouching Tiger. TMNT, the Antique Store. That's the 1991 1990. Ninja Turtles. Mask of Zorro, the two versus Whatever. one hallway fight scene. Mm -hmm. Right, that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Well, that's it's the the fight flows out into the it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it, it starts. It starts it's yeah. the principle the two of you watch. It starts yeah. with Captain Love and Don Don Dela Vega. Yeah, and then Indy Gun versus Sword from Raiders. Just a wild card. Yeah. So, can I keep you on your toes? Number one, I feel like we have to put the mall brawl from Police Story in. We all, we all, we all, we all, we all, we all picked it. Okay, so I will put that down. I mean, it's it's one of the most like iconic martial arts films. I mean, the one stunt in it is so good, they show it to you three times. Yeah, yes. Like, I mean... <laughs> now, to be fair, they do that in all Jackie Chan films. But sure. it's still so good. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so what, what can we eliminate from this list? Uh, I, we can probably toss out One Piece I think the action. One Piece could probably go out. We can I, also probably toss out TMNT. Yeah, I don't know that <sighs> TMNT holds up to other stuff on no, here. No, that's fair. I it's like fair. the antique, especially the antique store yeah. brawl. Yeah. But like, yeah. Okay, so... We have Ramona Flowers versus Rock. Definite include. I think, think so? that one's Definite. a fantastic one. I can't I believe like Ryan. Like, I didn't I can't bother either. I I'm figured ashamed. Ryan had it for sure. I did it. I know. Like, yeah. And so I, didn't, I mean, like, the show was fine. Andrew's like, you it's did. whatever. I'm over here like, I love everything about I, it. I know. Like, I have the game. I have the that, comic book. I do have the game. It's very good. <laughs> that specific fight. That specific fight. Stands that was out. So elevated it. Yeah. Really yeah. good animation. Okay. So, uh, Ip Man versus the Black Belts. I think that needs to be Two of us put it on there. So. Yeah. Okay. It's that's also one of those just iconic moments where, like, even if you haven't seen the Ip Man film, you've probably, probably seen has that. Probably YouTube has probably this. served yeah. that up to yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, uh, Maximus versus Commodus. How do we feel there? I think it's I think it's good. I, it's middling because it, it doesn't have the big flashy moments. It's, the fight it's, itself it's is not elaborate. Yeah, it's the, the emotional emotion part is part high, but it's the fight isn't. That flash, yeah, which that's that fine. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not married to that. Okay, uh, Adonis versus Damian Creed in Creed Three. I'm also not married to that one, but I think that's a pretty decent pick. It's pretty good. I feel like if we could have, if we could reach back to the first Creed, mm -hmm. the, the right. one shot yeah, fight would be an auto that include. Been, but that's sure. too far. It's out of our but realm. But you've got here. the, you know, the the the. the 
the kind of like jail cell comes around in the cage. I thought there was a lot they did to elevate it, but I wish it would have gone longer. A little bit. Again, I think we're going back to Maximus (laughs) Commodus. They do a really good job of highlighting the emotional stakes of the story. They do. But it's not really that the fight is so good. Yeah. So. Mission Impossible Fallout, the bathroom. Yes, brawl. that's going to include. I, think that I want that in there bad. Okay, yeah. got it. Got it. I mean, he that, reloads that his on, arms. He reloads he, yeah, his yeah. arms. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Henry Cavill can do so it. So good. <laughs> okay, so that's got four so far. So we what we have left is Ahsoka versus Balin. I think that's a, little, a fantastically I, I choreographed scene. That's a pretty good lightsaber fight. It, it's it really one is. of the best ones that we've had in, in at least long, in a, a long decade. Time, yeah. Uh, we have Shulin versus Jin Crouching Tiger. I think that one's really good. I don't, man, because I know that I recommended this for one of the best, like, iconic martial arts fights yeah. in yeah. one of our bonus episodes, too. Mm-hmm. It's really good. I don't know. Like, Okay. I'm I mean, just, let me read you the five we have yeah. before we, okay. So we have Police Story Mall Brawl. Uh-huh. We have Ramona Flowers versus Roxy. Uh-huh. We have Ip Man versus the Black Belts. Uh-huh. Fallout Bathroom Brawl. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we have Ahsoka versus Balin. That's five. We can go one more, or I we think, can just leave it at five. I think Crouching Tiger should probably be in it there. It should probably be. Okay, I think yeah. it's it's a very iconic fight, and it's from a film that was uh, a it's flashpoint almost, in American martial arts films. It's almost like we had a month dedicated to martial arts in here. So we have Ip Man, Jackie Chan. We have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Michelle okay, Yo. so to recap real quick, our six are <clears throat> Police Story, The Mall Brawl, Ramona Flowers versus Roxy in the video store. It Man versus Ten Black Belts, MI Fallout the Bathroom Brawl, Ahsoka versus Balin, and Shu Lin versus Jen Crouching Tiger. I'm good with yeah. that. I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah. Let's move on to number three. I mean, you know, we just keep leaving out Mask of Zora, but it's okay. Oh man, Mask of Zora is really good. It's, it's so like <laughs> But and it's the, one of those things where well, like, is it good enough to be the best? And the thing is I debated right. that fight versus like him versus Elena in the barn. I know. Because yeah. it's like ah! <laughs> That's I almost a, put that on another one. That's more of a formative moment than anything else. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. That's my own personal list. How did, did you read my diary? Okay, the next category is called The Heat on My Face. The Heat I on My Face. Feel, this is the best action sequence. Yes. Okay, so I'll go first. Yeah, on you start. One. Okay, I've got Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the Burj Khalifa. Ooh, okay. interesting. That's all, all, almost an auto include. I feel like. I Is feel it? like. Yeah, yeah. I don't. That's not really an action scene, though. What would you call it? What? It, it, the dude a, is running a, down the side of a building. It is a stunt spectacle. Oh, shut! Oh, no, 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 shut up. no, 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 Just shut up. <laughs> no, no, no. You should be ashamed. <laughs> It's one of my favorite scenes, but I would not consider that an action sequence. Well, that's because you have deep emotional trauma that you need to work through. <laughs> Repression Anyways, off air. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let me put this down. Burj Khalifa. <laughs> I always like, how do I spell How do you spell Burj Khal- Khalifa? Okay. Um, Goldeneye, the tank chase. Yeah. Yeah. What, truly iconic. Yes. Incredible sequence. I've got John Wick for the dragon's breath shotgun scene. Ooh, I also have that. I actually didn't. I it's didn't even a, think about that one. Wow, that's it's great. a good that's sequence. That's in a the good middle pick. of a really slog movie, but it's a yeah, really that's good that's a good pick. Um, I guess I'm just gonna list all of them here. What am I doing? Let's right, keep going. Heat, the bank heist. Yeah. Yep. Uh, RRR, the prison escape, final fight in the forest. Mecca the bro. Mecca, Me- bros. Mecca bros. Interesting right? choice one on that one. All right. Um, <laughs> Uh, D and D honor among thieves, the paladin fight scene slash escape from the fat dragon. Like that, like sequence that pops off from okay. like, he can, fights the I zombies it, and then yeah. they run away from the fat dragon. Yeah. Uh, 1917, the final run across the battlefield. That was another one that that's I, a good one. I don't, I didn't really consider that an action. See, sequence. I, yeah, I didn't, I, I okay. have, that's going to show up later. Cause yeah. The, yeah. Like, yeah. The, we're going to get some of that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Temple of doom, the minecart scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> What else did I have in here? Can't put that up with the rest of these. Uh, Jawan, the highway motorcycle yeah. scene. Yeah. And yeah. then I have Police Story, the uh, bust gone bad slash bus chase at the front. Oh, that one's fun. Yeah. The down the bad. hill. Yeah. Bad, yeah. I don't know if that would make like a top list, but it's definely really fun. I think up yeah. against some of these, it's going to be Yeah, it's going to be sterile. Yeah. 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 Steven? All right, we'll get out my, my softball first. Uh, MI3 Vatican Heist. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we have Jawan, motorcycle, motorcycle versus height, 18 yeah. wheelers. Yeah. Is that three that the Vatican heist happened? Yes. Because they're smuggling out Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes. That's right. Well, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what was the next one? Sorry. Uh, Jawan, motorcycle. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's got to be. Yeah. So RRR has two 
from me. Love what? it. Yes. We have arrest that man to start the film. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the bridge rescue sequence. Yeah, the arrest that man sequence where he's like walking through dude, the Dude, when the they crowd. started that, I was like, okay, I, I immediately know what kind of film this is now. Like, <laughs> yeah. established it's when it tell. crystallized. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but also the bridge rescue sequence from RRR. Yeah. And then a second nom here for John Wick 4, Dragon's Breath, top-down sequence. I, I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't pick well, that the one. The problem is it's mired in the middle well, of so much repetitive stuff. Yeah, because I was stuff. trying to remember, like, I was like, when I was going through these, I was like, okay, John Wick 4, like, I know that they Surely had, like, one the of thing these in, the, in France, and we had the stairs, uh -huh. and we had this other thing. I didn't even think about the Dragon's yeah, Breath. Yeah, the Dragon's Breath is so good. Yeah. All right, Andrew. Okay, so I also had the chase through St. Petersburg from Goldeneye. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also had the L.A. shootout from Heat. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. The canyon chase from Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's uh, uh, when, when they're when the Ark oh, is on, on the, the truck. Tank. They're on the tank and stuff. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. There's no tank in, in oh, Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Raiders. Yeah, yeah, so my brain did the same I, thing. Wait, hold on. Yeah. The Ark is on the truck, and yes. he's chasing them on the horse. And he's, like, and being then, dragged yes, and, and yeah. all the front. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's a pretty so good. So how are we calling that? The what? Uh, I did Canyon Chase. Can okay, Canyon yeah. Chase. That works. I, I feel like Last Crusade did the same thing, but better but better. I, they were I, I better at it at that point. But yeah, and the I Desert Chase. Yeah, okay, I ahead. had to get an anime reference in here. Of course. Uh, Gundam Ariel versus Gundam Feract um, from first season of uh, Witch for Mercury. So that's when they're I'm flying. I'm not even going to try to spell for X. That's when they're flying through the asteroids and stuff. And Still struggling um, with Ariel. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it wasn't going to win any Just awards. Just put the mermaid. But I had, the I mermaid had to get versus the, the pharaoh. I've spelled it phonetically. Mermaid I don't know what it is. Mermaid versus the pharaoh. You'll uh, and then it out. the final one is Highway Chase from Juwan. Oh, of course. Okay. How could we not? <laughs> I mean, he, he literally runs his heel on the ground and lights his cigarette with the sparks <laughs> right. from the metal on his heel. And then yeah. starts, spins the cap <laughs> off the gas tank, puts it into a donut, and then just flicks it in there. I know. I mean, like, how uh, can you beat this? In case uh, people, for the listeners at home, if you haven't Seen listened Juwan. to our review of Jawan or watched it. <laughs> you need it, to check it out. You're doing yourself a disfavor. Same with RRR. a buck wild film. Oh, my gosh. It is absolute insanity. Okay. So I'm going to go over this list. Tell me if I forgot anything, because I tried to jot all this down at the same time. Okay, we got Burj Khalifa from Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Uh -huh. We have the Golden Eye Tank Chase. Yep. John Wick 4 Dragon's Breath. Yep. MI3 Vatican Heist. Yep. Jawan Motorcycle. Yep. Yep. RR Arrest That Man. Yep. RR Bridge Rescue. Yep. RR Prison Escape Mecha Bro. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Police Story The Bust Gone Bad slash Bus Scene. Yeah. 1917 Run Across the Battlefield. Heat, the bank heist yeah, shootout. Yep. Raiders, the canyon chase. Mm -hmm. Gundam, Ariel versus Feract. D&D mm -hmm. &D hat, the paladin fight. Yeah. yeah. And the fat dragon. <laughs> okay. And then Temple of Doom minecart. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Temple of Doom minecart. Just cart. take, I think, I, I hate to be harsh to, Do it. to Indy, but I think both of Indies can be out. I, I yeah, think if there's going to be an Indy, it should have been from the Last Crusade, yeah, the, from desert last crusade chase, the Desert Chase. And I don't know that it holds up against the well, rest see, of these. But I feel like if you're under Raiders of the Last Ark, what about like the fist fight at the, the plane? Yeah. But, I feel like that could have made no, the I, other sequence. I, well, that could have made the other sequence, but I really yeah. feel that, that the Canyon Chase really showcases a lot of what Spielberg was known for. Sure. And it really hits home of how well it was blocked out. I just yeah. think about the sequence of the truck running over the guy. And, and you can tell he's good. way in the yeah, foreground. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then you do Last Crusade and everything just looks perfect. Everything's I mean, just that's, great. That's totally like, fair. Like I said, yeah. it's the same thing. It's just the craft is so elevated by them. Okay, yeah. so let's do this. We know for sure, I think, that GoldenEye's Tank Chase. It's making I, the list. I think that has to make the list. Yeah. I okay. think Dragon's Breath Hand Cannon from the... Uh, okay. John, uh, John Wick 4 has to make it. Yeah, John Wick 4 and then Juwan Highway Chase. We all... I, I feel it. like yeah. the Juwan and RRR stuff almost all has to be on the list. Ah, uh, see, Maybe I don't. I actually don't really think that there was like oh, the the act like one of those. You watch three, your words, son. One of those three sequences love, from hey, RRR I makes the RRR. You watch your words. Be careful here. I think RRR is better in a lot of other categories, but not this one. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I at don't all. think no. it meets the requirements here. I. It's okay. I mean, it's going to show up in other lists. It will make it, it, will make it definitely will. here. I just don't think it but meets. But to me, it's because I put it on my list, I think the prison escape mecha bro is the most ridiculous action scene in that's, the movie with the I, arrows but, but that's the thing. and the does horse it, does stuffed. It even, <laughs> does it even meet Jawan, though? 
No, yes. it doesn't. Uh, no, it doesn't. I feel like it does. No, yes. I do. Yeah, I feel like it does. I, I feel like now, one totally, of the it's three, a totally different speed. I get it. One of those three sequences sure. in RRR makes this list. I, I'd Arrest be hard pressed. that man would be the one that I would. I mean, say. I, if it's that, I'm all for it. Like, I think one of those three because the the bridge rescue where they like grab hands. Uh, I mean, that's that really under the really bridge. Fun. Arrest that the man is awesome, but it's just one of them. Is the one, reason yeah. the final scene is so good is because it's you they finally reunited. But then the bridge rescue is all there. It's right there for you. Yeah. It is awesome, but it's just less complicated and stupid. I mean, okay, no, no, <laughs> hold on. Amazing. Are we considering the the bro mecha and the the final section? Are we also talking about it when they're in the forest? Yeah, and like he's rising out of the I mean, water. Because it goes right to it. Thing. They yeah, go right from the jail. Yeah. Okay, they're on each other's okay, shoulders. I can, I can into get back that. Yeah, I mean, I'm, that. I'm good with the prison break. As the I'm action. good with prison break. Then. Our okay. just makes this list. Is all. I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So prison break. <laughs> From, yeah, yeah. from them on each other's shoulders yes, shooting yeah, machine yeah. guns, doing pull-ups all, on guard all the way, towers, all the way down to, to in the forest, Bowman, to like yeah. Bowman in the water, right. Spearman, yeah. Okay. All right, so <laughs> Stephen hitting his hand on something. How <laughs> do we fill microphone it? stand? Oh my god! <laughs> Careful, don't break anything. <laughs> Meaning the microphone stand. That's, that's expensive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not expensive. Okay, but. so prison escape. Uh, heat shootout. Two of us put it on there. How I do think we feel that like needs that? to make the list? I think that needs to make the list. It's visceral. The sound is incredible. Listen, I can tell you right now, heat shows up on the list further down for me. Too. Oh, for me too. I mean, <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> but also, this is something that what uh, Marines still show Val Kilmer reloading. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, you can't, <laughs> you, you Val can't, be, you can't yeah. do faster than this Hollywood and you can't actor. Be an actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So right now, what we have is Goldeneye the tank chase. Yep. yep. John Wick four dragons yep. breath. Jawan motorcycle scene. Uh huh. If you know, you know. <laughs> the RR prison escape. Uh-huh. Yep. And the heat shootout after the heist. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's five. Now That's... let me go through our list again real quick. Okay. We, Bird, have, we have Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa, which that I want on there. I don't think that I, counts. I'm not, I'm not, compared to the rest of what's on this list, I'm fine with that being left out. I feel like it's intense, it's, though. No, it's, it's oh, very it's it's, stressful. It's, it's one stressful. of the best scenes in the entire franchise. I just don't think it meets the requirements of so, what this uh, is. Being an what's action sequence? interesting to me is that Mission Impossible has such a focus on kind of the spy work of it that it doesn't ever really have a true big action sequence. Except there's in not, Fallout. Fallout there's not really yeah. helicopters. Right, but there's not really yeah. like cars flipping yeah. and that kind of stuff. Like, well, there happen. are, but... There's car chases yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But, but yeah. it's it's not it's not the same level as, like, I'll say Jawan. It's never going to be yeah. an Indian film level. It just isn't. <laughs> <laughs> so the only other things on here, right, uh, that Anybody's we haven't mentioned out. are, yeah, Ariel versus Faract, uh 1917, the run across the battlefield. And I just don't think that don't, also hits it. I don't okay. think that hits. Yeah. I mean, and then the paladin fight in D&D that goes to the chase away from the Yeah, dragon. that one can stay out too. It's okay. Okay. Well, I yeah. just, I mean. What about the D&D fight at the final fight? I, no, I was going to say, uh, now the D&D final fight is really good. Against See, the, I the like the, the paladin yes. fight better yeah. because it's like, Funnier it is more, more dragon, fun, but this yeah. like that one you actually have a lot more like actual action with it. The blocking is really well done. So do we want to put that one on there? Mm, I, even then, I think if none of us thought of it, I don't. Okay. I don't think it makes. Okay. I think we're good with the five. I we think have. we're good with the five. Yeah. Okay. So to recap real quick before we move on, Golden Eye Tank Chase, John John Wick Four Dragons Breath, Juan Motorcycle, RRR Prison Escape, and Heat Shootout after the heist. Yep. We're good. Right. Cool. Yep. Moving on, the next category is side splitter. This is intentionally or unintentionally funny moment. This so is going favorite. to be very interesting to see what everyone picked. Yeah. Uh, so this, yeah, Stephen, lead us off with this. All right, we're going to kick this off with MI Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the Kremlin Infiltration. Oh, yeah, that's a fun As one. As the camera breaks okay. and Benji's got his face in front of it. Yeah. I, I love the whole idea of when they were making that film that the tech every, always fails all the them. tech always fails yeah. them. Yeah, I thought that scene was, one, intense, but also hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so then a very short sequence here, the Jawan, my daughter scene. <laughs> <laughs> That's another good that one. one. I forgot that about one that one. <laughs> actually, like, killed me on the couch. Just That's a very good one. Me. Uh, and then we're going to wrap this up. So Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, Melting Bard. <laughs> oh, okay. The yeah. Melting Bard hold is on, phenomenal. Hold on, hold on. Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, Paladin over the rock. <laughs> Which one was that? It's when he's wait, walking. He's, like, he's, oh, like, he's just going to keep walking. Hey, oh, what, he's going over what, the rock. What happens? Oh, oh he, yeah. Does yeah. he go around it? No, no, he goes straight over it. <laughs> uh, and then finally, Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, Chungus Dragon. <laughs> Chungus Dragon nice. is fun. Chungus yeah. Dragon sequence was amazing. All right, so here we go. Uh, so I have the fake assassination attempt in police story, 
where it's um, his friend from the police force that's <laughs> yeah. trying yeah, to. Yeah, oh, okay, that is, that is <laughs> <laughs> that's such a terrible scene. Yeah, where yeah. He, yeah he's yeah. tried to yeah. like, fake that's murder such a her. Terrible scene. Um, I had uh, Wednesday and Plugsley play in the Adams family. I also okay. had that. When, I, when I, they're I, just I, bleeding onto the oh oh the, oh the actual not playing but the yeah, play. yeah 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 when when they're bleeding onto the audience I'm which is just a little amazing of a dark monster Pugsley. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, I have uh, Susan May chasing a chair down the road through town, All right, which is, is which that's is really one. fun. It's very disarming from already what already seems like a really serious film, and then it just pops out. Yeah. Then I have um, the Melting Bard from D and D. Melting Bard has to make the list. <laughs> and then I have Bro Mecca from RRR. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also amazing. I, Mecca I Bro. laughed out loud so much at that moment. Yeah. Okay. I had from D and D hat. <laughs> The Jonathan No moment at the very end. <laughs> Jonathan, no! Jonathan, Jonathan No! Jonathan No! Because that's the part that like just cracks me up every time I think about it. And it's spelled J O R N A T. It's actually Jonathan. It's Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan. J A R. Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan No! <laughs> Uh, that's my favorite shot for that one. Uh, Barbie, I'm just Ken. Just the whole song. I yeah, just everything about it. Yeah. 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 Uh, Clue, the flames, the heat. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, Indy, The Last Crusade, No Ticket. Oh, that's solid, a good one. Solid. Yeah, that's um, a good one. And then I had Grand Budapest Hotel, the three-way punch at the wheel reading <laughs> where he punches him, and then he sees him punching him, he punches the other guy, and then Adrian Brody punches Zero, and it's just all three of them are knocked out. Um, and then I had the Adams Family, the play scene, both when Morticia and Gomez are tortured by the children singing, leading into Pugsley and Wednesday's performance, like yeah. that whole section. <laughs> Uh, I had police story, but I had uh, Chan's birthday. Oh, the whole, that's like, a good one. He yeah. calls her, and he, act, oh, you know, she's standing gosh. behind him. That's that whole a, I know Steven doesn't like that cringe that's style. Such comedy, a cringe but. sequence. And then I had uh, Ben Riley in Across the Spider Verse, his introduction, where he's very like, "I'm so emo." And oh, he's like yeah. up against the wall. <laughs> oh, and uh, sorry, uh, two more. Oh my gosh! Jeez. Jeez. Mutant Mayhem. The wait. Is this some kind of turtle milking machine? <laughs> from Splinter. Oh, no. Okay, I forgot about the milking machine. Uh, I'll write that down. Turtle milking. That was such a that was such a good callback oh, to an early, good, like... Boys, are they milking you? Yeah. Because <laughs> that part just cracked me up. Um, and the last one was Susan May, where they have the car wreck in Sarazawa's um, uh, oh, convertible. Yeah. Oh, and then the convertible moment. works. Like, it, like, closes, and then the door falls off the car. <laughs> I, I laughed that's, so hard. That's at that. a great one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, we got a long so list for this one. We do. We do. We do. I've got to jot all these down. All right. So discuss amongst yourselves what can we illuminate. Okay. Real quick while I so just down. by default, at least one Dungeons and Dragons. I think two Dungeons and Dragons scenes could make this list. I think it could. It was a I funny think movie. The Melting Bard melting is probably the best. Bard is so a guaranteed. Melting Bard was on my list. I just also had Jonathan. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I also had Jonathan on my list, but he's not in this category. Okay. Same. Same. <laughs> Jonathan, no. <laughs> Jonathan, no. So what are we doing? So we're doing the Melting Bard? I think, I think Melting I think Bard. Melting Bard is a good one. Yeah. Uh, I Paladin of the Rock still. That one's, that that one's, that one's all right it's to just, me. It's yeah. just amazing to me because he's like, he's even, he even walks straight. So oh, I know there's rock. Does he go left? Does he go, no. Oh, no. I, I think that it's a little too self-aware. It may be. Yeah. I, I think that's kind of where it loses it on me. It's still funny, but it's very much millennial humor. I can see it. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I'm not saying that you're. Oh yeah, you're yeah, wrong. yeah, yeah. Just the whole movie was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I also, you know, I had um, uh, Wednesday and Pugsley the play where they're bleeding on everyone, which is yeah. just, it's just so ridiculous. That one for me needs to be on here, but that's to me like that's, it's just so funny. I think I think that okay. So so far we got Melting Bard. So we just have Melting Bard and yeah. the play. I think so, the play is a. Solid I think one. the play is a good one. Uh, I honestly, I'll probably. I would definitely swap over with Susan May to the car falling into the, the oh, you ditch. Think so? I think that is a That's, really good callback joke to something that like wasn't too far, you know, gone. So before we throw it on the list yeah, for yeah. sure, let me just go through our long list right here. Oh right? boy! So we got uh, Ghost Protocol Kremlin. Uh huh. We have Jawan, my daughter. That whole yeah, that's a good one. That's a we good have one. the Melting Bard. We have Paladin of the Rock. We have Chungus Dragon. We have the fake assassination from Police Story. Nah. We have the play from Winsy and Pugly and Adam's family. We uh, have Susan May chasing a chair down the road. We have Mecca Bro and RRR. We have Jonathan No from D&D. &D. 
We have Across the Spider-Verse, Ben Riley and his emo instances. introduction. We have Barbie, I'm Just Ken. We have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turtle milking. <laughs> that whole setup Tur- and pain. Yeah. Turtle milking needs to be in there. Uh, Susan May Car Wreck, Clue the Flames, Police Stories Chan's Birthday, and Grand Budapest the Will Reading. I think I think the turtle milking is a really good That's one. That's a really strong entry. I'm just putting turtle milking down here. It's really <laughs> so weird. Okay, so we right now we have <laughs> Melting Bard, Adam's Family Play, and Turtle Milking from Mutant Man. Yeah. Right. Okay, what else needs to be on here? Mm. Oh, man. How do we feel about Jonath- Jonathan No? I don't think. I, I, don't, I think with Melting Bard on there, we're, we're pretty, we're okay. Yeah. 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 I don't want to dilute the D&D votes. Yeah. So between police story, do we feel like the fake assassination or Chan's birthday get, meets the criteria? Okay. Mm. Neither dose. <laughs> I, I can agree with that. Like I thought the fake assassination was, is always really funny, Yeah. but I can definitely see. I think with the list we're putting together, it's not. It, yeah. It doesn't it, really hit those. It does heights. not have that note. Yeah. yeah. How about Joanne, my daughter? That one gives you a really solid laugh. That's a personal favorite of mine, so I'm not going to argue against it. I want it on there. I th- I'm, I'm for yeah, it. I'm I think for that it. I'm fine okay. with it, yeah. That cracked me up. <laughs> okay, that's got four. Uh-huh. So I think I think Susan May with the car going into the ditch is I think it's really be- I think funny. it's better than the, the chair chase. I do agree, yeah. Because that's yeah. a little more of a stressful time. Than, yeah. Where the, the car, like, you've been relaxed. It's just kind of a goof. Yeah, and it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Just because, like, it's like, oh, cool, it works, and then the door falls off, and it's such <laughs> yeah. good comedic timing. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, okay. How do we feel about, let's see, Barbie with I'm Just Ken? That whole music video uh, sequence. So I think, again, I think this is a great mm-hmm. pick, not for this category. Okay. Yeah, it's a different category. Uh, how about Clue with... Uh, Madeline yeah, Kahn's I confession. Just never fi- I didn't it find it hit. that funny. It doesn't okay. hit like the rest of these. Yeah. It hits for me, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's see here. Looking at our list. I think that's it. Let me read yeah. it back to you. We got Dungeons and Dragons, Melting Bard, Adam's Family Play, Turtle Milking, <laughs> Joan, my daughter. Boys, are they milking, milking you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. What is this machine? And, it's going to turn <laughs> and they're yeah. like, no, 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 no. Uh, Joanne, my daughter. And then <laughs> Joanne, my daughter. And then Susan May car wreck. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, five. That's a solid list. Are I we good with good. that? Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Now let's move on to the next category. The score of the score. This is the best musical score in case you can't tell from the title. <laughs> that's, that's an in meta joke. Yeah. That's so a, that's who a, led off last time? Uh, he did. So it's me. It's you. Go track. for you, Andrew. All right. So I'm going with. The Witch for Mercury. Okay. Okay. Uh, Oppenheimer. Yeah. Boy and the Heron. Yeah. Interstellar. Okay. Oh, my God. Kiki's Delivery Service. Of course. And then Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. All right. All right. Steven, what do you got? I've got... It's me, isn't it? (laughs) It should be you, really. Uh, I'll jump in real quick. Okay. The Last of Us. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Interstellar. Yeah. So I'll put another notch in that belt. Weird, but okay. Oppenheimer, another yeah, one there. Another gun, yeah. And then Susan May. Yeah, that's, that's mine. Steven, what do you got? Uh, well, I'm going to ditto Oppenheimer. Okay. <laughs> ditto Interstellar. Okay. Ditto Susan May. Okay. <laughs> ditto Boy in the Heron. <laughs> and then I'm going to come in like a wild card here with Gladiator. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Gladiator's a good Gla- soundtrack. Gladiator soundtrack's been on my rotation for years. Yeah, I mean... It's been on all of our rotations yeah, for I years. Well, yeah, gladiators it's, it's just a fan, living. I mean, yeah. The Roman Empire lives rent-free in my mind. What should I say? <laughs> <laughs> all of what all men think about is the Roman Empire. <laughs> the only thing men want is disgusting, and it's the Roman Empire. <laughs> okay, so let me run over this real quick, make sure I didn't forget anything. Yep. We got Witch for Mercury. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We got three for Oppenheimer. Yep. We got Boy in the Heron. Twice. Two for Twice. those. Yeah. Two for Interstellar. Yep. No, three for Interstellar. Three for Interstellar. <laughs> Kiki. Kiki's Delivery Service. Yep. Yeah. Indy, The Lost Ark, Greatest mm-hmm. of the Lost Ark. The Last of Us, Susan May, two of us for that. Three for that. Three for that. Two for three. No, two or three. Two. two. I, two. Didn't, two. I didn't, I didn't oh, you pick Susan May? Yeah. He just immediately after said, went, ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Gladiator. Okay. Yeah. We good with that yeah, list? I, 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 did I, I forget so, yeah. anything? Did no, I, no, I think you're good. All right. So I think Oppenheimer and Interstellar have to be on. Slam dunk. That was Yeah, that was sweeping already. Not the so, awards yet, though. It's not voting time yet. Well, I it mean, is technically, for, if you listen to this, it is. Yes. yes. 
Suzume, Boy in the Hair. So Suzume was on my list, and mm-hmm. I pared it down for Kiki's Delivery Service. Okay. Sounds like Kiki's Delivery Service is about to get pared down. No, that's I fine. Say, I kind of like Suzume better. Suzume is a little better. No, I think Suzume is a fantastic soundtrack, but I don't think it should be on this list. See, that's Ooh. weird that you'd say that because <laughs> I feel like it's better. I liked it better than the Boy in the Heron soundtrack. Ooh, Ooh I, I don't, don't, I don't agree I don't, there at all. I think oh, you can disagree all you want. Come, I'm right. I, th- I think I, if we come down to it, I think Boy in the Heron wins. I think Boy in, the, Boy in the Heron is is one of Joe Hisaishi's best work. It's very good work. Yeah, and it's also I think more important for the film. I think to actually carry the weight. It, it, of the it film. does. Yeah, I just don't get the songs from the boy and the heron stuck in my head like Susan Mays did. Well, yeah, because like, all of Susan Mays, not just the doo, yeah, doo, like a lot of them. <laughs> I, I find myself <laughs> like <laughs> thinking of them. The boy and the heron, I have to go look it up. Yet and you like, didn't oh, yeah. get it in our. I didn't bonus episode because well, you didn't play the main thing. You played some random thing from the end when Tokyo is about to. You know, whatever. It's not even <laughs> in the end. It's in the middle of He's the mad. film. We're still mad about it. No, it's, it's the end. It's the back half. No, it's not. It's when Tokyo is about to have the. Yeah, thing. it's like halfway through the movie. No, I watched it this weekend with my wife for the first it this time. This weekend, I did. It's like an hour and ten minutes into the movie, so it's close to the whatever. end. Whatever. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so you boys, don't want Suzume on this list, boys. even though two of us voted for it. No, no, no. I think Suzume is fine, but I think that there are better choices on this list. You even think Gladiator got... is better than Suzume? Mm, I wouldn't say that. I definitely got him. I do think Raiders of the Lost Ark is one of the best mm, soundtracks. Ooh. That's I'll go with that. Like I really I think, think it's, it's got one of the best songs. I don't know about no. That is totally soundtrack. wrong. No. It it literally was the basis for an entire franchise. It, it was. Just, it's been it busy did. murdering right before our eyes. <laughs> I'll give you Raiders of the Lost Ark. I'll yeah, put that I, there. I yeah. think Raiders of the Lost Ark needs to be on the list. The Last of Us. Ah, uh, I think Gustavo that, Santarola. Like no, no, the, no. The, I, I mean, like I the lie. main theme is incredible. Sure, but Every, like it's peppered throughout. All like the everything the else, guitar. There's, yeah. there's not a ton of honestly the, rest the music, of the soundtrack the music in there. Never really <sighs> stood out to me like that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Sorry, like, now, not, granted, I ha- listen to that soundtrack on repeat. Now, now, hold on, hold on. We have an entire section for singular track on this list. Sure. Yeah. It's I just up. don't think it hits the, the full okay. bar. soundtrack. So right now we only have four. Yeah. We have Oppenheimer, Interstellar, The Boy and the Heron, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. You can put Susan May on there. I'm not Susan May. Yeah. Put okay. it on there. Susan May's five. Yeah. Susan May's on there. That's five. And then we had. Um, we have Kiki. We have Witch from Mercury. Which I think is which, a phenomenal. I say, say, I say just, this. Just, there's a category later for individual no, tracks. There absolutely is, and that's where that belongs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not on this with the fine. overall that's score. Totally right. fine. Totally fine. So, like to me, that's where that lands. I ain't gonna fight it. The only other one I would like come close to be maybe Gladiator. Just I because think, I think Gladiator is definitely worth, worthy of being contender. there. So let's put Gladiator. Yeah, put Gladiator right. on there. It's a classic. Yeah. So the final list, Oppenheimer, Interstellar, The Boy and the Heron, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Susan May, and Gladiator. I think that's good. Chris it's a good list. Pulling with our nominations, like what he does with IMDb's top 50. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. All right, next category. Okay, up next, Best Banger. This is the best individual song from a soundtrack. What you got, Ryan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm leaving this yep. I've got the Jawan title track. Jawan. Are you ready? ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I've got RRR with Nacho Nacho. Yeah. Yeah. I've got RRR with Shole, which is the credits yeah. song. Oh, okay. I thought, I, I didn't think that was the one that was going to make it. All right. I mean, it's like the only two songs. So well, there's <laughs> also the one in the middle singing about the friendship. And, which and is good. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying that it's, that it makes this list. I'm just saying it is a good song. It is. It is. Yeah. RRR. And then I've got, um, Witch from Mercury. The Witch Shuku from Fuku opening, the first oh, so opening from season oh, one. Mm. That's me. I don't know about To me, that's that. the better opening. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. well, it's see, not even opening anyways. See, I agree there, but I almost Dark Horse season two outro. I love that outro. Oh, that that's was good. really good. I love that outro. Yeah. Okay, so that's mine. What do you got, Steven? Well, I have G-Witch season two outro. Season, okay, so hold <laughs> on. G-Witch S2 outro? Yes. Okay. Uh, I've got I'm Just Ken. The Barbie movie. All right. It's a fun one. That's a good song. Nacho Nacho from RRR, because nice. how could you not? I mean, it actually won an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I don't know if this one really counts for this, but this song lives rent free in my head, and I can't mm-hmm. pronounce it. Uh, but it's the Yumi Matsutoya song in Suzume. It's oh, the city pop song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it's from Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, no, this is from Suzume. 
No, no, no. But but it's also yes. It's also in but Tiki's it's, delivery it's the service. No Dangon or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll just put Susan May City Pop. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Andrew, what do you got? Okay, so I have the Witch for Mercury, the Witch for Mercury. Um, so which song is that? That's like the main theme that they play. It comes up a lot in the show. Yeah. Mm. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Um, American Prometheus from Oppenheimer. Okay. okay. Uh, Ask Me Why, Boy in the Heron. Uh, Nachu Nachu by uh, Slow down, RRR. please. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, just just assume why? that Nachu Nachu makes the list. Yes. It can't <laughs> not. Like, it's not going to not. Right. And uh, I have I'm Just Ken. I'm just also, that's also I'm making the list. That's yes. a fantastic it's song. It's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have after, asked, after Ask Me Why, Boy in the Heron? Uh, not too much. Okay, so I got them all. Okay. So real quick, our list is the Jawan title track. Uh-huh. Uh, is it Nacho Nacho or Not Too Not Too? I have Not Too Not Too. It's spelled differently it's on spelled, Spotify on different. So it's spelled yeah. N-A-A-T-U is how I've seen it spelled, but I always hear it pronounced as Nacho. So I've seen it spelled N-A-A-C-H-O. Oh, interesting. Yeah. It's again different and, yeah. soundtracks have it listed either, it's, it's either the way. Main RRR the, sound. the main RRR, the absolute RRR banger song. dance song yes. in the middle. Of I've the got the ending song. credits from RRR, The Witch from Mercury, season one opening, the, or the first core, yeah. however mm, you want to call yeah. it. We got the G Witch season two outro. Yeah, boys. <laughs> We've got I'm Just Ken. We've got the Susan May City Pop song. We've got. Uh, the Witch from Mercury main theme. Main theme. And then we've got American Prometheus from Oppenheimer and Ask Me Why, Boy in the Heron. Yep. I, okay. I feel like, obviously, Natu Natu's got to be. It's, it's up. Yes. Yeah, just by default. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's going on. Uh, I think any of the choices from Witch from Mercury are acceptable. However, mm-hmm. I really think that the main theme definitely deserves a spot because it is it is iconic and you know exactly what it is. Here's my problem. I have listened to... The season one opening. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna try to say it again. <laughs> Shuku Fuku. Yeah, it's in playlists of mine. Yeah, I listened fantastic. to the ending of season two. I could not tell you what the main theme, which for Mercury sounds. Yes, like. you can. Do you know what it is, Steven? I'll stop your head. Like he's uh, having to look it up too. No, That's no, what I'm saying. I, I'm like, gonna play it for you because I know what okay. he's talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's see here. G Witch main. Yeah, play me the main theme. Let me see let's, if it let's get a little, sparks a little sound. I literally here. could have just pulled it up. Well, well then you're too up. slow. Uh, fine, I got it. Hold okay, on. Okay, so while it. you're both looking that up, um, I'm I feel like an ad, so. I, I'm it's just kidding. Don't worry. Go for it. I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Ken has to be on here. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Does. Okay, so I'm going to put that on here. <laughs> Are you there? Oh, I'm going to have an ad. <laughs> Yeah, because it sounds kind of like the Phantom Pain theme song. <laughs> it does a little bit, yeah. But, I mean, like, honestly, like... To me, that I had to think about it to remember that. Mm. I didn't have to remember that for the season. The, su- the second that comes out, I'm like, oh, here we go. Like, same thing with the outro. The outro is like, oh, <laughs> I to the end. Sing it. <laughs> so, I think all three of those are perfectly fine choices. I, I but feel like I definitely one to of me, them it's has like to make it. The, the ones we've picked are bangers, and the name of this is this bangers. This is a banger. That's okay. It's, it's seven minutes. <laughs> That doesn't that define doesn't a banger. Make it banger that doesn't make it a it banger. It gives you longer to listen to. You think Freebird's a banger? Yes, it is actually. Yeah. <laughs> that was the worst pull you could have had. I, no, I debated, what are you doing? You I think one of the most iconic free, guitar solos is a banger. between Freebird and Stairway to Heaven. Both are bangers. What's wrong with Hitch all with? Both, both, are, bangers. Bangers. With <laughs> both are bangers. Okay, hold on. We got not to not to. Yeah, we got guaranteed. I'm just Ken. We got to put Jawan on there, right? The title track. Mm. What do we feel like? I, I don't think it. so. I love really? it. So I think one of the problems is it's hard to find the version that I want to listen to. Mm. I always hit on like slightly different versions and they just don't hit as hard as what I want. Right. It's the I one from the movie. Yeah. The one, yeah. F- but like some of the soundtrack listings, it's just not the same song. It's like, what the heck? Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and put my vote in. I think the main theme from which for Mercury is, is more iconic. We already knew what you're I vote against for. that. I'm going to vote okay. that down. So what's going to happen here is Andrew votes for main theme. Ryan votes for season one opening, and I vote for season two outro. We stalemate, and now GWH fails no, no, to no. make the list. See, we go, all three on the list. We go <laughs> no. track by track and vote. So main theme, vote. Raise your hand if you think it should be on this list. All right, main theme's out. Okay, main theme's out. <laughs> all right, season one opening. Raise your hand if you think it should be on this list. Well, all three of us are voting for that one. All three of us voted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, raise your hand if you think the outro from season two should be on this list. All three of us. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's a G-Witch heavy list. Bigger songs. 
Okay, G. S <laughs> one <laughs> opening, we'll, and we'll have to get the actual name because Sh- yeah, Shukufuku is Shukufuku, correct. Shukufuku, yeah, but I don't know what the I don't remember what the actual I, I, is called. Yeah, the other one is uh, totally weird. I'd have hold to on, look hold it up. On. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's what's rest on the list? Okay, so that's got us four. We have the Jawan song, which you didn't seem to like. We've got the RRR ending song. Nah. Oh, that's a bang to me. That's I mean, it's good. I like it's it better good. than Natu Natu a lot of days. Like oh, I'll put that one on. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. Oh, get that blasphemy out of here. Um we've got Susan May City Pop. That one's I mean, that one's really fun. It yeah. it hits on a lot of stuff. I don't know if it would hit on a best of list. Right. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing is I love the song. That doesn't necessarily yeah, I don't know yeah. that it has to make this list. Yeah. Right. Then we have American Prometheus. I think it is phenomenal. That's a really good song. Let's put it's, it on there. Yeah, I think it's phenomenal. And then we have Ask Me Why, Boy in the Heron. I don't it doesn't have to be on there. It's, that was kind it's of a my phenomenal song. But yeah. yeah, it doesn't I don't, have to I don't be think on there. it needs to hit on this list. Okay, so for, so far our list, it's five deep. We got not we two, like, not two. We like fives. I, we do, apparently. <laughs> Maybe next year it's just all fives. <laughs> uh, we've got I'm Just Ken. We've got the Jewish season one opening and the season two ending. <laughs> and then we have American Prometheus. Yep. I, think I feel good. like that that represents our podcast. I feel like. <laughs> we're just, what if we're a foreign film podcast? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing on here is like, I'm Just Ken and American Prometheus. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on to the next topic. The next category is I'm not crying. There's something in my eye. This is the best tug at your heartstrings moment. Okay. Steven. Steven's leading this one off. Yep. Oh boy. All right. Let's kick this one off with guardians of the galaxy three. Oh, don't even bring this. Not yet. <laughs> oh, what? That's, what? that's the that, moment. That's not, the, oh, not yet. Okay. So I thought you were saying you weren't going to say it yet. I was not like, gonna no, say say thing. No, deal with it. No. Okay. That's, <laughs> that's also on my list. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it. Just, just put it on there. Put Cause on that one. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, RRR, the bromance, just as a whole. Okay. Everything yeah. about the bromance is is too good. As a whole, all right. <laughs> uh, the Last of Us, episode three. I've got that on yeah. there. Yeah. So I felt like Bill that's and a Ted. slam dunk. Well, not Bill and it's Ted. Not Bill, Ted. Bill, <laughs> it's not Bill, Bill and Frank. It's Bill and Ted's great adventure. Excellent. Bill and Frank. Bill and Frank. <laughs> Bill and Frank. <laughs> it just rolls out the tongue. <laughs> Bill and Ted. <laughs> And then I also have Guardians of the Galaxy 3, Hertz. Ugh. Which one is that? It's um, when he's, after he's been, like, worked on, he's just oh, like, yeah, 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 like yeah. Hertz. It's like, oh. Hertz. Okay. That's it for me. I'm dead inside. Andrew, what do you got? Uh, wow, I can't believe, okay. No, uh, no, you so fill the gap. What do you got? Uh, Lance Corporal Blake dying in 1917 when he gets stabbed. I see that doesn't that doesn't do anything for do me. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're both like it's war, man. It's just, um, you know. I have Kiki realizing that she can't hear Gigi speak anymore. Okay, that, that, one's, that, one's, that, one's, that one always decent. gets me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Adonis and Damien talking after their fight in the locker room um, just, in Creed ah, Three. It just yeah, didn't, that I didn't, didn't get me. Uh, Last of Us, Frank and Bill's passing. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. <laughs> uh, and then I have uh, Susan May telling Daijin that she hates him after he okay. basically turns that's a good Sota candidate. into Man, uh, that's a good candidate. Yeah. That one, that one destroys Ooh, that, me that's every hard. time. That's hard. Especially if you're an animal lover, it's that's very cat. tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, As well, a dog well, person, it didn't just, We just got Guardians of the Galaxy right here for no, the animal I, lovers. I ignored that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like, that movie didn't happen. <laughs> Here's mine. Guardians 3, not yet. Like, That's whoa. in there for sure. Uh, the Last of Us, Bill and Frank, obviously. The Flash, Barry says goodbye to his mom. That is a good moment. Okay, yes. that that's, one ruined that's me. A that, dark that's, Horse, that's yeah. a really good choice. Actually. That is a really good moment. And what was not a good film. No, but that moment. <laughs> that moment is like, yeah, that, that hit there, yeah. Um, and then, uh, let's see. I've got uh, D&D Honor Amongst Thieves, the realization that Holga was mom all along. Yeah, see, that's a good moment, too. See, see, the like, problem, am I crying right now? I know. <laughs> the problem with that moment was that you could kind of see it coming from a mile away. Well, yeah, but like, but it still hits. It still hits. Yeah. I still teared up. Yeah. So like, you know what I mean? Like that, that's, that's the part where you're like, well, am I crying in a D and D movie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, making me feel fun. things that I hated. Um, I had Kiki's delivery service. The old lady baked her a cake. Cause that part made oh, me cry for oh, some reason. Every scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I think when we watched it to review it, I definitely cried at that moment. <laughs> that moment got me. I, I was like, I didn't realize it was getting me. And I was sitting on the couch going, <laughs> and I was like, what is happening? What is wrong Why with is this? Me? She baked her a cake and she doesn't even know I'm related to her. And her daughter didn't appreciate it. I was like so mad. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else do I have? Um, oh, uh, Cooper watching 20 years of messages. On oh, yeah. That's a tough one. Oh, it's tough. 
Oh, that's tough. Uh, what else do I have? I'm trying to pare the lyric list down here. <laughs> Um, Ryan over here with like a yeah, like a dissertation. Just, oh, I had, um, for anything. So right, Grand Budapest you. Hotel. I the, will. The prison. I know you do. <laughs> Grand Budapest, the prison breakout where he yells at uh, Zero. Zero, yeah. He tells him a story I'm, and then he says, I'm sorry. I, I, apologize I apologize for everything I just said. Forget it. You know, I was like, that part always chokes me up a little bit. It, it chokes you up, but it's not really a sad, it's, so like, it's like a play, heartstring it's moment. It's a little bit too much for a laugh. It is, like, yeah. And why are you even here as an immigrant? And he tosses like, I'm a refugee. I apologize for everything I just said. Right, but it's still like, okay. So the list, striking that one, we have Guardians 3, not yet. The RR bromance as a I whole. I think those are both just, oh no, sorry. I thought you were going to say Last of Us. No, let me, The Last of Us, Frank and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah, that one definitely should be on the list. I feel like, yeah. I feel like Guardians and Last Guardians of Us Guardians 3 should dogs. be on the list. It should be. Yeah. It, it just because that it was, just, that was an intentional snub. Just because snub. it destroyed you so much that you don't want to think about it doesn't mean it can be left off. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. no, that was an intentional snub. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so The Last of Us, Bill and Frank needs to be on there. Yeah. Uh, definitely we have, that one, yeah. Guardians uh, hurts. I don't know I about don't, that one. No. But if you have not yeah. yet, that's yeah. good enough. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. The whole the whole movie's a freaking yeah. brutal, ripping yeah. at you. Uh, Lance Corporal Blake. I don't. Uh, yeah, whatever. You know, whatever. That's that's fine. Fine. You barely know that kid by the time he. It dies. doesn't matter. <laughs> You've been with him for like an hour. It's, it whatever. is. It's brutal, but it's just uh, <laughs> Kiki realizing she can't hear Gigi. I think the bakes a cake is the bigger. I feel like hit. the bake got me more. I don't know, but I think this is like a cat what, dog person. Yeah, thing, whenever honestly. whenever she can't. I, I mean, I'm a both person. I think the bakes a cake is the bigger hit. Just because I think it, it, I think we're showing our age with that it one. Is, yeah. no, no, <laughs> now I'm not going to disagree there. Like it is a very emotional moment. I cried in both points. It doesn't matter. Sure, right. If Kiki's delivery Andrew, makes the list. The, I'm there. The theme okay. song for Kiki starts playing. Andrew starts crying. I mean, I definitely get emotional when I hear the main theme for Kiki's. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why it's so funny. I'm just this. a bleeding heart. I'm just tearing like, up thinking about it right I, now. I feel like Andrew just like sits down. It's like, what am I going to watch tonight? Something that doesn't make me cry. I guess I'll go play computers. <laughs> uh, Adonis and Damien talking. That's fine. You guys know. I mean, it, like, I mean, I it didn't make me, it didn't tug at my heart it, it, it felt yeah. like a good resolution. It definitely gave it me a little bit. Like, I wasn't like crying, cathartic. but it was definitely, ooh. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. it definitely like brought it together, yeah. but I don't know if I'd go as yeah, far as like, yeah, okay. Uh, Susan May telling Daijin that she hates him. <laughs> that one's Every up time that one's just up kills there. me. Okay. Yeah. I'll put that one on there. Uh, Flash telling his mom goodbye. That one is also needs that to be That one's also there. probably needs to be uh, on in there. A, in an absolute not good film, that is a shining moment. It is, yeah. It, it, uh, it's unfortunate that it takes literally the entire the whole film way to get, to get there. there, yes. <laughs> uh, Holga was the mom all along from D&D. That one definitely got me in the theater. Put it, you know what? Put it up there. Yeah, D and D deserves to be on these lists. Honestly, it does. We've snubbed it all over film. the place. Okay, we haven't snubbed it at I all. Know, We've playing. snubbed it because we listed it so many times. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> uh, Kiki, the old lady, baked her cakes already on there. Uh, uh, Cooper watching twenty years of messages. That one's also another a pretty Ooh, deep emotional that's moment. Pretty hard. I mean, it's. It's definitely Ma- Matthew a, McConaughey's acting in that scene too yes, is like kills killer. Yeah. Well, and, and but then you even get the reverse of it whenever she She's clicks it off. Clicks it uh, off. It's yeah. the best transition. Okay, it is. we've yeah. got a, we got to pair this down. So we have Guardians three, not yet. <laughs> we have The Last of Us, Bill and Frank. Two. We have Kiki, old lady bakes her a cake. Uh-huh. We have Susan May telling Daijin she hates him. We have the Flash. Barry tells his mom goodbye. We have D and D. Holgo was mom all along, and we have Cooper watching twenty years of messages. Right, we definitely have one. Get, get rid of D and D. See, oh. I say get rid of Susan May telling Dijon she hates him. To that's, me, of all fine. these, that's all right, the all one right. that's wild, like wild card bakes a cake. We could see to me, to me, and I'm, this is very personal. Yeah, yeah. The bakes a cake hit hard for me. Uh-huh. The Dijon thing didn't because I was like against Dijon at that point when she tells him. Well, that. everyone, he, is. I thought he is kind so of so for me. There was no emotional yeah, like, oh fair, no, I was like, yeah, fair. get okay. out of here, cat. That, like, that's you know, fine. That's fine. You can remove that to me. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I agree with that. I agree with it. I can see it. Well, and that's the thing too, is like, it hits me really hard because we have cats and everything. And right. like, I've put myself in those shoes where like, I would never say that to my cat, sure. even yeah. no matter how angry they make me. Yeah. Right. Cause they're, I mean like they're family members and that kind of, anyways. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So the list is guardians three, not yet. Last of us, Bill and Frank. Kiki, the old lady bakes her a cake. The Flash, Barry tells his mom goodbye. D and D hat, Holgamo's mom, and Cooper from Interstellar watching twenty years of messages. That's a good list. That's a pretty good list. That's yeah. Actually, a brutal freaking list. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next category is called dripping like a faucet. Change of pace here. This one is the best costume or outfit. So this is this is one 
character's costume. Yeah, one yeah. character's costume. Not, not so, for, like, the whole design. Who went first on that last uh, one? He did. So, so I, or you? Steven did, yeah. Okay. He did. Just, we're all uh, he's here. Him. <laughs> that one over there. Uh, so I have Shin's outfit from Ahsoka. Is that a- S-H-E-N or I-N? S-H-I-N. I-N. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ken's outfit from Barbie. Which, Which one? one? Uh, the the big specific. coat. Yeah, the big coat. That's the, the one I had. Big, <laughs> big coat with double sunglasses. With, with the one with like no shirt and a yeah. fur coat. Yeah. 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 Uh, Commodus's final outfit in Gladiator. Ooh, that's, oh, that's a, a good, good one. one. Yeah. And then Korra's military outfit from Rebel Moon. That's my dark horse choice. Oh, that's oh, a wow. really dark horse choice. Yeah, I pre- forgot about that. I mean, she, the problem she is looks Nazis, really good Nazis in that. are always snappy dressers. That's I forgot problem. we watched that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But, I mean, it's like but, one of the most recent things. Of the I know. It's still like. But I mean, she does have a really those good are, swagger are, those in Those are that. good yeah. outfits. Yeah, yeah for sure. Outfits. Those are good. Those are all four that I had. All right, I've got Balin's skull from Ahsoka. Okay, because we're, we're both his, in the same, yeah, same design outfit. space. Yeah. His outfit is killer. It's really good. Uh, I've got Raju in the suspenders and gray plaid dress pants from RRR. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, I mean, it's not like a it's not a no. complex. So you left costume. off. You left off. Doesn't the have to be part of the costume. It's, it's yeah. the mustache and the mustache. The it mustache just rounds is everything. Yeah, killer. Thing, yeah. um, I've got the Ken fur coat. So yep. I'll put another notch on that one. Uh, Adonis Creed with the red, white, and blue robe that reveals the white trunks and white gloves in the final fight. On Creed mm, Three. Meh. I thought that was pretty. It's meh. pretty slick. It was iced out. It's, it was white. It, it was like, good, ooh. but he's not wearing enough clothes for it to really be an outfit. That's that's false. Well, that's but. false. <laughs> that's not how any of that works. Um, let's see what else do I got here. Vanessa Kirby as Empress Josephine in Napoleon, like specifically the Empress, the crowning yeah. scene. You know mm. what? I almost just just went for Napoleon. Napoleon, but like yeah. the yeah. movie just, just so horrible. It doesn't. I just, that doesn't matter. I know, but you were here for one specific. I want to thing. snub it intentionally. God dang it! I mean, that's what I did with Guardians. So yeah, I, can't I know. Say <laughs> Let's see. Oh, uh, Vesper Lynn, the black dress in Casino Royale. Mm. <sighs> that's good, but. That's I mean, good. you could you could just send the, like Daniel Craig in any suit, or just, sure. Well, some of the suits look better than others. Daniel though. Craig, I mean, not every sky, suit. his Skyfall suit looks. Yeah, really I was gonna say Skyfall like suit's it. pretty awesome. Speaking yeah. of not wearing enough clothes, Daniel Craig in the swimsuit coming out. Rising I almost out of the put ocean. that one down on here. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had that one, but they make a whole mention of the black dress and like yeah, it's a whole know, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a great dress. Uh-huh. All right, Stephen, what do you got? All right, let's uh, let's kick this one off with uh, another one for. Uh, fur line jacket. Yeah. Okay. That, that one's, that one's in. I mean, that one's in. Yeah. It's uh, in. another one for, uh, Raju. Yes. Uh, suspenders and mustache combo because mercy, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Admiral Garp, one piece live. Action. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that one. Yeah. Oh, that was a good outfit. You know, I, I wanted to pick, um, like specifically the dog or, hat. Or, yeah. <laughs> like, See, I was I was tempted to say specifically the dog hat, but really just his look overall is yes. just right. so good. He's okay. got the look. Uh, Bale and Skull. Okay, another one for that. Can't can't not. It's like yeah. honestly, both Shin and Balin are they, they've, fire. They have, yeah, yeah, they have. That the, was the their different. outfits were fantastic. Good yeah. look. Uh, and then y'all already listed another one of mine. So um, well, what is it? So we can put it on here as accounting for it. Well, I didn't write it down, so you're blank. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, right? fantastic. I'm good at this. I'm good at this job. <laughs> Way to go. Anyways, we'll go back over the list. I'll, I'll, I'll nominate them. Don't worry. Okay, cool. So we have Shin from Ahsoka. Yep. We have Ken with the fur coat. We have... Just Com- Ken. <laughs> yeah. Commodus' final outfit in Gladiator. Oh, that was the other one. Sorry. Yeah. Not Commodus, but Marcus Aurelius's armor. The horse Which, armor. The horse armor? Yeah. The horse oh, armor. okay. So it's the, fl- I knew, because when you said it, I was like, oh, I had the flip coin here. But yeah. But I mean, Commodus, man. That, Com- no, the white that, outfit that for white Commodus. Outfit, woo, woo, it is woo. fly. Yeah. Yeah, no, it that's, is. That's, that's how, really that's good. That's how you know he's an emperor. Why? Because he's not covered in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, we have Korra's military outfit from Rebel Moon. That was a good pick, actually. Balin's skull. We have Raju in the suspenders. We have Adonis Creed with the white gloves and trunks. We have Vanessa Kirby with the, the, um, Black Napoleon. dress. Yeah. Napoleon. Oh, no, no, sorry, no, 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 Kirby Empress, is, yeah. is Empress. Yeah. yeah, Empress outfit. And then we have Vesper Lind in the black dress. We have Admiral Garp from One Piece, and we have Marcus Aurelius with the horse armor. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like, obviously, Ken with the fur coat. Ken's That's in. in. That's in, right? I think Raju's got to be in. I mean, he does so, have the he. The, he can't not. He be has in. the rugged bro. He can't not be in with that look, man. It uh, does. It does look really good. We gotta get some ladies on this list. Uh, so I like, jo- I like the Josephine vote. 
Okay. I mean, I like her her actual dress and costuming just. I mean, like technical it was stuff a, is incredible. Right. Costuming yeah. for the movie in general is fantastic. Pretty, was, I yeah. almost just it's, put Napoleon and I, like, yeah, 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 I, I was there too. In but general, it's, it's basically the highlight of the film. Yeah, which yeah. is a problem, but you know, ah, sure. Yeah. yeah, for this uh, category. So do good. we do we want to put Vanessa Kirby as yeah. just yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Vanessa Kirby, and then um, Balin Skull. I, I think him or Shin work totally fine. I mean, or, they both have fantastic designs. I, I, I agree. I, I really like Shin's design because it reminds me of Mara Jade. Okay, that's pretty much it. I, like, I could go either way. I think both of them are both I equally think fantastic. Both fantastic. But two of us voted for Balin, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm open yeah. to discussion. Well, how do we feel? Well, I think for Shin can both be on there. Um, probably not. Okay. I think I think Shin's costume design, like her actual character design, fits a little bit better with like kind of like the Sith styling. Mm-hmm. Oh, what are you talking about? Balin's all in black. He's solid. No, no, black, no. But he though. looks really good. But like she actually has like some gray and some silver in there. Yeah, yeah. Her her arms are really really cool looking. I don't know. Like, it's I like think, her haircut versus his beard is pretty tough. Too, I mean, because she's like, got like the kind of like the bob cut. She does like, with the bangs. Yeah. But he's got that beard. I mean, the beard is. <laughs> And his haircut too—it's like short on the sides. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's like a very, the, very vertical cut. I think both are good. Honestly, are. can we put both on? Put, for now, we're putting them both on there. <laughs> Shin and Balin. Okay. Or can we put them as a combo vote? Shin and Balin. <laughs> you have to vote for both. <laughs> All right. So let's go over our list real quick. So w- what we have for sure mm-hmm. is Ken in the fur coat. Uh-huh. Yeah. Raju in the suspenders. Uh huh. Uh, Vanessa Kirby as Josephine, uh-huh. Shin and Balin, two separate. And we go yeah. like full military here, and also say Raju in his like red outfit. You could. There's so many yeah, outfits. Dude, yeah, Honestly, all good. It doesn't matter what clothes you put on that man. He's yeah. just good looking. Yeah, he's, he's got to make got it look jaw good. Jaw I just feel like the, the suspenders the was like yeah, yeah, no, that, that was, was that, that, was, that was like the man about town look. Yeah, yeah. 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 <sighs> um, I feel I like Commodus. Commodus needs to be on this. I think Commodus on this list. Really, really good. I mean, okay. Joaquin Phoenix walking around looking like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we go with the list right now, this gets rid of Adonis Creed in the white gloves. It yeah, gets rid fine. of um, Vesper Lind in the black dress. That's fine. It gets rid of Admiral Garp for one piece. Oh, I don't know about that. That's fine. It gets rid of <laughs> Marcus Aurelius in the horse armor. I think that's, that's fine. fine. It gets rid of Cora in the military Robert outfit from Rebel Moon. That's the thing. It's like we could have just made a list and it's just all military All military outfits. stuff. Because yeah. like, military just stuff just looks Napoleon, good. Admiral Guard. Yeah. yeah so like what we have do, now, do, do, do. the six are Ken in the fur coat, Raju in the suspenders. For sure. Vanessa Kirby in the Josephine crowning outfit. Yeah. Let's let's get rid of Shin because she was well, technically outvoted. Shin from uh, Ahsoka, Balin from, from Ahsoka, Ahsoka, and then Commodus in the white outfit. That's six. I think that if what, you what are you taking Shin out for? Yeah, to put um, Garp in because I did I did really like. I think Garp. His, I, I don't his hate costuming. that choice. Yeah. So you think sub Shin for Garp? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, or or you know if we want you know some more female representation, put, right? Get rid of Balin. Put Garp in. Ooh. Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, they're they're, they're both, basically the same they're both person. Gruff. They look like they mentors. look. They are, the but same. that outfit that Balin wears to me. Oh, I don't know. I think it's better than Garp. Balin is. Yeah. If I had to pick. I would agree. Balin versus Garp, I go Balin. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. I've said my piece. Ken Furcoat's <laughs> in. That's oh, it. Oh, there's yeah. no right. debate. Raju's in. Raju's there's no in. debate. No debate. So the ones up for debate are Vanessa Kirby as Josephine. No, she needs I to don't be think in. That's, I don't think that's debatable. She's in. Okay. Commodus in the white outfit? I know he has to be. I don't He's think in, that's right? debatable. So really, it's Shin or Balin. Yeah, Do we Shin want two from Ahsoka? I don't think we need two from Ahsoka. So you think get rid of Shin, put Garp in? Honestly, we could just do them as a pair. I just do Balin and Shin as a pair. Can we? Is that fair? It's it's our awards. Who cares? It's our awards. awards. Hold on, let me check with the judges. They're fine with it. All right. (laughs) So Shin and Balin (laughs) in a in a historical first. We have a double (laughs) nominee, and then uh, Admiral Garp. Okay. All right. All right. Now, next up. Next up, we have. It's all real. The best use of practical effects. Who wants to go first? I, I, I think I start for this one. Is this you? Go for it. Yeah. Um, I have the 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. With their suits. I thought they were fantastic. I can't believe they fought in those things. I know, right? Uh, Oppenheimer, just the film. Just everything about it. Yep. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Meh. Raiders of the Lost Ark. 
All-Star. <laughs> wow. Uh, One Piece live action. Okay. Yeah. And then Grand Budapest Hotel. Ooh, that's a good one. Grand Budapest Hotel. Just for its use of miniatures? Yep. Yeah, yeah, use for miniatures and practical, just everything. <laughs> All right, so I had also Grand Budapest, so I'll go ahead and put... Two just just that. go ahead and put it in there because I'm on there too. Okay, three. I figured all three of us yeah, would be for that, that one. So it's cool. Phenomenal. I also I had Oppenheimer. Yeah, specifically the bomb, the bomb, and like yeah. other stuff like that. Uh, I had Inception, the hallway scene. Yeah, that's a good one. I have that in another category. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I had <laughs> The Last of Us, the clickers, because that was all practical yep. makeup. The, I they were on my short list. Yeah. Um. What else did I have? Uh, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, The Sandstorm. Yeah. So. Okay, okay, okay. That's my list right there. What do you got, Steven? Okay, so I had, well, we already marked one off, uh, and then I had 1917. Just the Pick film. a sequence. It does, <laughs> I, I specifically highlighted the flare sequence and then yeah. also the running down the trench at the end. Mm-hmm. But, like, just pick any part Anything, of the movie. Yeah, it's just yeah. For all I know, yeah. they just wrecked a bike. see, plane. a lot but, of those had CG in them, so I didn't know. I was well, scared. Not, I mean, every, like, even Oppenheimer has CG sure. in them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's the thing. There's, that there's definitely some digital compositing, stuff like that. But, like, yeah. actually lighting the sequence by dragging a flare overhead yes. yeah, on yeah, yeah. two cranes. Like, 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 that's, yeah. that's as practical as it gets. Yeah. So 1917. Yeah, because it's, it's still all natural light doing that. Yeah. Like yeah. All right, what else? Uh, D&D Heroes Among Thieves, Jonathan. Jonathan! That, that being he, just he a was, full he was suit my is honorable incredible. Mention. incredible. Jonathan, no! <laughs> oh, no! What else? We need to rewatch that film. I know. We actually rewatched it a couple, couple of weeks uh, ago. It's really good. It's great. Uh, Mask of Zorro, the training sequence. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And also the mind fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, the I movie. Mean, the like, movie build, yeah. build the set. What out? Blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Burn it down. Burn it down. Uh, I also had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the uh, the suit the suits yeah. because yep. it's just like it, 40 pounds of rubber and they're like, do a, do a kick flip in it. Do, do a it. kick. Yeah. <laughs> Higher. Yeah, the, the suits for Team NT are really, really good. They're horrifying. It, okay. They're like horrifying. The, they're like posts, like what was like 20 years later, found in a, in a they're warehouse. All like and they're like oh, 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 yeah. With the gums. They're like, like peeling peel back. Peeling like back to the teeth. Horrendous. Like, all right, so the two that we have to have on this list are the ones we all three voted for, which is Oppenheimer and Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah. So I'm going to start with that. I didn't vote for Oppenheimer. Did you not? No. No. I put three okay. marks next to it. Put it I in there I think we were talking about, we were talking about it. About oh. Yeah. Put, it, put it in I there mean, anyways. You said I assumed we would yeah, all yeah. three. That's yeah, what it put it in there anyways, but I didn't vote for it. Okay. I, I definitely think Oppenheimer should be in that. Wrong side of history. <laughs> 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 all right, Grand Budapest. What else? We have, let me just go over the, the list real quick. I mean, 1917's got to be on this. TMNT 91. We have Raiders of the Lost Ark. We have One Piece live action. We have Inception hallway scene, or just Inception, but the yeah, hallway Inception, scene specifically. Yeah. A lot of that was, like, even the, it was. the train, yeah, that was practical. Yeah. Why do you say, yeah, yeah, like, it wasn't. <laughs> it was practical. Like, <sighs> it's a pinnacle of practical filmmaking when Nolan steps on set. It's a pinnacle You're over of here going like, filmmaking yeah, when Nolan yeah. steps in. Right, the Last forward. of Us Clickers. Yeah. That's uh, a good one. It is a good one. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, The Sandstorm. Yeah. Meh. They use a real sandstorm. <laughs> How more practical can you get? Uh, 1917, and then Jonathan from D&D, and then Mask of Zorro. So I think that... Mm, I definitely think Last of Us should should be on there. I think like so, they, too. They, they have some fantastic... The zombie stuff in general. Yeah, it was, was just really, well was really, really... It was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the bloater that was only there for a single episode. Yeah. They, like, it was like six hours for him to get in the suit. Right. What yeah, a miserable yeah. job. Just, oh, God. Uh, no, it's probably actually a great job because you just get to stand there while people other, other people work. No, it sounds like <laughs> it'd be boring. I, I can't remember uh, Jim Carrey talking about the... Sounds like me at my makeup. job now. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't, I mean, like, I think D&D Jonathan is fun, but I don't think that he I, should I think be on it's there. fun, but yeah, it's not enough for me to be like, like, oh, this is the best oh, of. That was well incredible done. practical effect. I can't believe they did it for yeah. real. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, now, uh, 1917 as a whole, I think. It's got to be definitely, on there. Yeah. Okay. It's hard to not. I mean, cause they hit like, yeah. 
granted, we have other things in here that yeah. also can fit. But like this. like the, the action sequence where he's running at the end. All oh, those, yeah. Like, like everything's real. Yeah. Rehearse all that with mm-hmm. all the guys and the explosions. Yeah, rehearse okay. it nothing. He runs into two people and keeps but, going. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, they, I know. I know. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Right now, our list is four. We got Oppenheimer, Grand Budapest Hotel, The Last of Us in 1917. What uh, else is on the list? TMNT 91. I don't. I mean, for the time, okay. like pretty, you know, pretty these amazing. dudes doing martial arts in forty pound rubber suits. Pretty amazing. Honestly. It's pretty cool. That film held up way better than it should have. Looking at the list, you're wrong. It should always hold hold up. I still though. I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you know, as a kid, it was awesome. I watched it. It was awesome. It's still awesome. It's still awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we have five. Yeah. The We're remaining like ones on the list are Raiders, Meh. One Piece, Meh. Inception hallway scene. Eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt me. Uh, Ghost Protocol Sandstorm, Meh. or just Ghost Protocol, a lot of that stuff. Uh, the Burj Khalifa technically is it's all, it's practical. not CG. Yeah. It's practical. Meh. It's not an effect. Meh. It's not an action scene. What is it? <laughs> uh, Mask of Zorro. That's, what I, that's what I would put that in. It would be Ghost Protocol in this category. Because, like, it is. Like, he's doing it. Sure. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm okay with Ghost Protocol once we start thinking about Burj Khalifa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, if you like, look at the movie they overall. They did a lot like, of the yeah. stuff. In in camera, I mean, ignore, minus ign- the the terrible uh, um, um, Kremlin explosion. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> so bad. Awful, yeah. Like, yeah, ignore you know the fact that he's on the outside of the building. They put like five IMAX cameras outside the building. Yeah, what? So do we feel good putting Ghost Protocol? In? I, I do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's good. Let's do that. Okay, so our final list for practical is Oppenheimer, Grand Budapest, The Last of Us, nineteen seventeen, TMNT ninety one, and Mission Impossible: Ghost Protocol. All right. Okay. The next category is fix it and post the best use of CG. All right, Ryan, kick us off. Let me lead us off. This is a short list for me. (laughs) Same. Uh, I had a few things on here. Maybe a lot of consensus on this one. Maybe. We'll see. All right. I had uh, the creator. Yep. Just yeah. the use of everything. Everything everything. that they did. Once we looked into how they made the movie, I was just just blown away. Yeah. Um, Just I go had, ahead and put all three of us on that one. I think that's a yeah, really safe. I, we all have okay. the creator on there. Okay. I had 1917 for the the plane crash scene, mm-hmm. for the, the burning yeah. church scene, the... Um, yeah. There's I two mean, or three. That's, that, I, that, I that was CG mixed. I can agree with that. For me, it was the compositing yeah. that, yeah. like, yeah. Just, you know, did it. Um, Interstellar, the black hole, specifically. It's like a black hole. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I had... Um, Inception, folding the world when he's teaching Ariadne how to do all that stuff. Yeah, I can. I especially can see that, for yeah. that being 2010, for the, for the time, it yeah, looks very time, good for yeah, the time. Yeah. Um, and then I had Godzilla minus one, the atomic breath, Ooh, like the explosion. That's from, actually a really good pick. Yeah. I didn't didn't even think about that. Okay, Stephen, what, what do you got? So kicking off my list with Godzilla minus one, the atomic breath. Heck yeah! How do you not have also him that would that would definitely have my vote. You can just go ahead and put that. One I just put. I, I assume all three of us would have that. Uh, I've already put in for the creator, and then the only other piece that I have to add to this is in fact One Piece. Okay. Uh, just Luffy in general. Yeah. Because I think that they nailed just the cartoon aspect uh, for of how it. yeah how how I, rubber like like hitting it yeah. yeah, especially in what was a mostly practical. Yeah. So what, what were yours again, Stephen? Just list them real quick. Well, I'm, I'm already on board for the creator. Yep. I'm on board okay. for Godzilla minus one, Atomic yeah, Breath, and then on uh, One Piece one Live. Piece. Okay, just want to make sure I didn't yeah. forget anything. No, it's a short list. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I had the creator. Shocker. Okay. Interstellar. Okay. Um, just the film. Yeah. And then I had Rebel Moon. Okay. I thought the visuals were really good. Well, okay. And a lot of them are CGI. They sure are. <laughs> Most of them, I See, would say. That's the thing. Is the visuals are really good. They're all CGI. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and like, some part the, of it, like, I almost wanted to put, like, Ant-Man and the Wasp on here just, oh out, just as a joke because of how bad it was. <laughs> the volume. I mean, okay. Rebel Moon definitely looked better. It does. Ant-Man it and does. The Wasp. All right. Let's get going with this. So yeah. we have the creator. I think yeah, that makes dunk. the list, right? Okay. Godzilla so minus one. Sla- slam the dunk. The creator and Godzilla. Both make the list. I think Interstellar should make it too. Like okay. they That's do, fair. they do space very well in that I'm, film. I'm on board. I'm on board. Uh, we have 1917. Uh, eh. Okay. I think it's already got its its time to shine. It's the the cool. category above. Yeah. We have uh, Rebel Moon. Yeah. I mean, okay. I don't. I'm I don't hate. 
Yeah. It's just that it's just, film I mean, in general. It's just, just a kind of, visual effects uh, extravaganza. It is. And I didn't is. care for the art direction. Yeah, that's so fine. like, yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Inception, the fold specifically, but also just like I the can use agree of, with that one. I yeah, think I, that, I think it's that. really good. Um, and then we have One Piece, Luffy. Eh. So just go a four on that one. That's pretty four. much our whole list right there. Go for it. Yeah. So the creator, just the movie. <laughs> well, just all of it. All of it. Godzilla Every minus one, but specifically just the, the whole movie. Brand. You know, you know, if you want to highlight the creator, how about the targeting a lock on sequence? Which one? Just yeah. when it paint when the big. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah. When yeah. It, like, <laughs> yeah, that is really good. Like oh. Okay, so we got the creator, Godzilla minus one, Interstellar, and Inception. Yep. Okay, what that. a list. Cool. Christopher Nolan. Nolan had it in. All right. It really ties the room together. The best set design. Steven, you're up. Uh, well, One Piece live action. Yep. Barbie. Yep. The Last of Us. Yep. That's where I stopped. Okay. That's well, fine. I'll give y'all room to work here. <laughs> um, I have Barbie. Okay. The Grand Budapest Hotel. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. One Piece live action. Uh huh. Dungeons and Dragons. Nice. <laughs> the Last of Us. Uh huh. In 1917. Hold on, slow down. One Piece. <laughs> you Your list could Dungeons just be and our Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. And then what was the last one? Last of Us and 1917. 1917. Just let you, that list could just be our nominations and just call it a day. It probably could. <laughs> uh, I had Barbie. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. I had Oppenheimer specifically for Los Alamos. Okay, I, thought I, I, yeah, I really could agree with that. I don't think it hits on the like the most impressive set design. No, but it was extremely accurate. I it thought, looked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 1917. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you have to hold make the whole set to the film. Make the trench. I put Skyfall on here because I love the castle of Skyfall. I mean, at it's, the end. it's phenomenal. I thought that was yeah. really that's good. it's fine. Okay, <laughs> wow. Compared to what else we've listed, Stephen hates Scotland. Confirmed. Confirmed. <laughs> okay, so on as the I list should, we have a good Scottish. <laughs> Barbie is obviously going to make it. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Barbie definitely has to make Barbie the list. Has to Barbie's on Even the boardroom in Barbie like, was Every, crazy. Oh, cool. Everything yeah. about Barbie was uh, insane. The Last the of last Us, I of think, us really us, needs to be on yeah. there. Uh, honestly, One Piece live action really needs to be I on think there. I think it needs to be on there, yeah. Action. Everything okay. was practical for the sets. Like It was really yeah. impressive I mean, the stupid, what they did. The stupid snail phones. Like, yeah, I mean, like... like <laughs> <laughs> How do we feel about Grand Budapest? I like it. I, I, I mean, like I, it. I, I think I like it's great. It. Yeah. That's a really good choice. Yeah. That's a good film. It is. We watched uh, some, I, you know, I really feel like we didn't have a good year of film, but I think we, we watched we, some really. We watched. Yeah. We watched some bangers. We yeah. did. That's why when I was going over this list, I was like, "This is hard to narrow we had, down." We had a good year. <laughs> I feel like 1917 needs to be on here. Too. It does. Absolutely. It does. They had to make the sets to make the film. Like, the trenches, like yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, Okay, D and D and Skyfall. Skyfall's out. Skyfall's, Skyfall's like. out. Okay, D and D. How do we feel about uh, it? I mean, I was the only one that picked it. I like it. I like it. I think it's a good. I don't think it choice. matches up to the the, the rest the of level it. of like One Piece. No, and, I don't think so. Either. You know, nineteen seventeen. Yeah, <laughs> or right. Barbie for that matter. Yeah. So we got another five category. Here we go. We there got, was a national pink or a global pink shortage. Well, they they used oh, all yeah. that was available. All that was available. Yeah. 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 We got Barbie, The Last of Us, One Piece Live Action, Grand Budapest Hotel, and 1970. I think that's yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's a good yeah. list. That's a good list. Yeah. yeah. That's a good list. Okay. Next up, we have, did you hear that? The best sound design. This just keeps going. Who's going to lead us off on Me. this? Me. Andrew? Uh, Gundam, Witch for Mercury. Okay. Across the Spider-Verse. Okay. Oh, that's the first mention of that film I know tonight. it, right? That's crazy. Uh, I mentioned Ben Riley earlier. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh, T- TMNT, Mutant Mayhem. All right, all right. And The Last of Us. Okay. okay. You want it, Ryan, or you want me to do uh, I'll go. Go for it. Heat, the bank heist. There it is. Shootout. Just put me down. The for audio that. for Heat and the bank heist. <laughs> <shootout>. <laughs> is that really sound design? Yes. It's all, it's nothing but sound <laughs> design. <Yeah>. Joking. <laughs> of sound I was design. about to run across this room. <laughs> I, saw, I saw his eyes. Just, I saw the <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> my eyes slapped the lens of my glasses. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, I had Oppenheimer for specifically the bomb scene. Yeah. When the silence goes out and yeah. then the way everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then I had uh, Ghost Protocol because I think a lot of the sound in there, like the sandstorm. It the, is good, yeah. Ghost stuff is, is really well done. So, Stephen, what you got? I got heat. Nice. For obvious reasons. I have Oppenheimer. 
Nice. That's in, I'm really surprised that you guys put that down for sound design. I just did something about it. I'm surprised it, right? you didn't, I think, if I'm honest. I think it's the really issue curious. is a lot of the music almost feels more like it's sound design. But it's not. It's not sound I know, design. It is the music. It, but it's built into it. I just don't care. think you listened okay. enough when you watched the movie. That is objectively false. Very confusing. Continue, Stephen, with your list. Uh, so I put Interstellar on here, and I'm not sure how I feel about that now. I don't know how I feel about that. Now, I've, now we've got, we just just discard I that mean, outright. <laughs> There's no. some good sound design. There is some good sound design in it, but it's, it, it, again, it doesn't, it doesn't match music up. Driven. Yeah. But like the sound mixing of like TARS and CASE is good. Like eh. the sounds on the spaceship are good. Like eh. I mean, like they're they're not bad. I, it's no. just I think that there are better ones. I've also got okay. Godzilla minus one on here, specifically for the scream of Godzilla. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just his old Old. But it's but it's it's a little amped up. It's, it's got a little yeah, amped up. They, yeah. they yeah. recorded it from a speaker, and then they, that's called that's sound, good design. sound design. <laughs> <laughs> You're helping his case. <laughs> what else? What is that's that? It. Okay, so we got G Witch, Across the Spider Verse, TMNT Mutant Mayhem, The Last of Us, Heat, Oppenheimer, Ghost Protocol, Godzilla minus one, and Interstellar. So what do we feel like has to be on this list? Heat. heat. I think Heat's an heat's easy one. Easy one. Yeah, I'll agree um, with that one. I would go with The Last of Us. I mean, I think The Last of Us does a Especially fantastic with the, job like the with the clickers. The, yeah, right. with the clickers and just, just the, the atmospheric sound. Yeah. And a lot of stuff. I think they do a really good job. I like Oppenheimer for it. I don't. I don't did. think Oppenheimer so should be in this. Tell me why you don't like think so. I just there isn't enough happening in the film outside of just normal sounds. That K- Killian really Murphy didn't walk out of his office and go, get down, get down, get down, like get the down. sound of the radiation clicks and all that no. stuff. Like, yeah, it's great. Yeah. No, I mean, it's not bad. Again, like, it's uh-huh. the same thing with Interstellar. It's just, it's a very practical I don't, movie. I don't, everyone mind. who thinks Oppenheimer's okay, your okay, list, no, raise when, your hand. When, question mark, you wrote it for <laughs> us. <No, okay. laughs> so, 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 when I, when yeah. I think of sound design, I yeah. think of fabricating sounds that don't exist. No, that's not what sound design is. Yes, it is. Oh, not really. No. <laughs> so, how, okay, then how do you make sound effects for, like, a, a beam? I well, mean, yes, well, part yes. of sound design is fabricating. The it's, other it's also half of it is imitating. mixing and yeah, implementation. And make, yeah. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't think Oppenheimer should be on that list. I disagree. Like, I, and just, so does the people at the Academy Awards and the Golden Gloves, I guess. Like... I what? think I think Oppenheimer is on the list, even if it even if it's just I, the bomb. Sequence. It's wild to me that you think it shouldn't, because like what the argument is that they didn't create. No, they like, did. Science I mean, there's fiction, probably a ton of fo- there's, ton, yeah. there's, there's also a ton made, of foley and stuff in the film, but uh-huh. they didn't detonate I, a nuke. I just I I just don't <laughs> made that sound. <laughs> I don't think that mm. it was good enough to be on the list. Okay, just we'll, hands we'll, down. We'll let the voters decide. That's fine. You could let them decide. G which needs to be on here. I think it does too. See, I disagree. Some, there, the sound, the sound, sound design effects. is some of the best sound effects from any action anime you'll ever hear. See, I miss the old Gundam sound effects though. Well, just because you're an old man doesn't mean <laughs> that the new stuff isn't good. I'm putting G-Witch on here because Oppenheimer's on here, but is I think G-Witch was man. fine in terms of its sound. Oh, man, it's incredible. The future is okay. now, old man. Like, you, yeah. every time, like, a, a beam hits a shield, any time, you know, the sabers come out, like, the, it has the, um, such a specific sound that you oh know gosh, exactly what it, what it is. It starts with the, the permit sound. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. There, there's so many There's, there's a lot of them, but they're all just fine. Like, they're just, nah, they're anime nah, sounds. Nah, G-Witch is not wrong. Yeah. Okay, which is whatever. Out. Disagree to disagree on that one. All right. So right now we have Heat, The Last of Us, Oppenheimer, and G-Witch. Now, everything else on the list we have is Across the Spider-Verse, Mutant Mayhem, Ghost Protocol, Godzilla Minus One, and Interstellar. Meh. None of those? I don't feel I, like. Honestly, we could almost just leave the list at four. Yeah, I don't feel I any, anything I almost feel like else. Across the Spider-Verse. I mean, Across, across See, the, the Spider-Verse I does a, a good job. I have a hard time remembering like, the actual, I, like the thwip sounds and See, stuff I, I watched good. it recently. There's a lot of like yeah. sound that accents transitions, that accents yeah. like punctuating I mean, things. it's good. I, I think it should be on there. That's fine. Okay. All right, so our final list is Heat, The Last of Us, Oppenheimer, G-Witch, and Across the Spider-Verse. You just want to get it to five. No. <laughs> I mean, I would have put Godzilla he, on there. He was like, the number five. He does. He's Do a five. Put, he told me at a dinner. Five How about Godzilla minus one? Do we want to make it six? Do we want to go? Nah. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. All right. Next up is Thespian of the Yeah, which is the best performance. Am I leading this one off? I Did think so, yeah. Okay. So I've got Pedro Pascal as Joel from The Last of Us. Okay. Yeah. I've got uh, uh, Ray Fiennes as Gustav from Grand Budapest. All right. 
I've got Vanessa Kirby as Josephine from Napoleon. Yeah. I've got Joaquin Phoenix as Commodus from Gladiator. Yeah. And then I've got Tim Butler, uh, Tim Curry as the Tim butler. butler. <laughs> Tim Curry as the butler from Clue. All right. I have got Inaki Godoy as Luffy. Yeah. How do you spell Infectious. that? Infectious. I-N-A-K-I. G-O-D-O-Y. Okay. Uh, L-U-F-F-Y. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got uh, good old Ralph Fins. <laughs> Ray Finnis, uh for Grand Budapest. <laughs> Ralph Finn. Ralph. I still, still blew my mind when I was like, so how do you pronounce his last name? Whose name? Whose last name? Ralph. Well, first of all, it's Ralph. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> first off, <time>, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Who else you got? Raul Julia for Adam's family. Oh yeah, that's my list. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm trying <laughs> to keep. I'm trying to keep my list short. Yeah, I tried to keep my list short. Did you though? Maybe no. Uh, right. So I have uh, Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. That's a good choice. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have Matthew McConaughey from Interstellar. That's a good choice. See, I had him too. I was trying to cut it down. I'm gonna go ahead and double you on that. Yeah. One. Um, I have Ryan Gosling from Barbie. Oh wow, that's also a good choice. Yep. Uh, I have. Uh, Kamiki Renosuke from Godzilla minus one. Okay, is that the he's the, um, he's the lead? Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, then I have uh, Joaquin Phoenix from Commodus. <laughs> really, from Commodus <laughs> as Napoleon. Yeah, um, and then I have Ralph Fiennes from uh, Rafe. <laughs> Rafe. <laughs> Rafe. <laughs> See, you said it wrong. I know. Times. I know. Uh, okay, Rafe. hold on. I missed one of yours. So, Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer, then what? Uh, Killian Murphy, Matthew McConaughey, Matthew McConaughey, that's what Ryan Gosling, uh, Kamiki Renosuke, uh, Joaquin Phoenix, and uh, Rafe Fiennes. Yeah, from Grand Budapest Hotel. Okay, so it sounds like we've all got Rafe Fiennes as Gustav from. Uh, yeah, I think Grand that's Budapest. a yeah, he, he definitely needs to if be on there. If he's again, it's another film where like if he's not there, what does the film do? Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> like well, it, he his dry wit really oh, pulls the movie oh, along. Oh man, yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we have... I, I think Pedro Pascal should be on there, too. I didn't have him on my list, but I think he did a phenomenal job. How do you feel about Pedro? I'm fine with it. I considered it, and then I was just like, ah, it's just a little too much on the nose, maybe, for me. Yeah. I try to be different here. <laughs> but, I mean, like, he, he did a killer job. I was Be- see- Bella Ramsey was also on my list. She was on mine, too. I yeah. think, so right now, looking at our list, we only got one girl. We got... Uh, where is she at? Vanessa, Vanessa Kirby, Vanessa Josephine. Kirby, yeah. I feel like we need more girls on this list. It's all the boys. It's a boys club. I mean, right Bella now. Ramsey was on my See, short I list. I was shocked. I thought one of y'all would surely slam dunk of Michelle Yeoh. So I had Michelle Yeoh also on my short list for Crouching Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Let, let's, let's look at the Just list we have, but then let's think about adding some more ladies mm-hmm. in here. So uh, we've got Inaki Godoy from One Piece, uh-huh. who I agree is very infectious. He is. Man, some toxic positivity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we've got, let's see, Vanessa Kirby, Josephine. We've got Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. Mm-hmm. How do we feel about that one? I mean, he, he it's a tour de force of acting. Like, he it really he is. carries the film. I mean, I think Robert Downey did great, too. I think he did, too, but I don't think that he, I mean, like, Killian Murphy just does a, like, he is the film. Yeah. Uh, we got Matthew McConaughey from Interstellar. I mean, eh. I, mean I think he's he, good, but I don't he's know. He's good, but, I mean, he doesn't have to be in this list. Yeah. How do we feel about Raul Julia with the Addams Family and Tim Curry from Clue? Eh. I love, I them. love both I of love them. them. No, I love, I love both of them, but I think that they don't need to be on this list. Why? Tell me why. Because there are better actors. Are there, though? Than Tim Curry? And I don't Raul know if one Julia? exists. <laughs> I challenge you, sir. <laughs> I mean, you can put him on the list. I'm not well, going to. I'm just like, asking. I'm, I'm, this is a discussion. So you think because it's too over the top or what? No, no, not at all. I just I just don't think that that's Tim Curry's best performance. Okay. I mean, it is it is a great performance, but I don't think it's because he lifted up the film. We've already, de- sure. we've already yeah. decided that. I just don't think that it was going to be like compared to like Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. Sure. Okay. So how do we feel about Raul Julia from Adam's Family? I mean, he he is the character. That's who. Whenever I think of Gomez, yeah, if you think of Gomez, that's who, that's who I think, I think he needs to be on here. I think he does too. How do you feel? Do it. I'm thinking okay, I'm not going. I'm dark little monster. Like Pugsley. and anyone like all the people that we've mentioned <laughs> are good. Have not been like ooh yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no,
So we have I, Ryan Gosling from I'm just, Barbie. I'm going to go ahead and say this. I think we should do Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey for Last of Us. Oh, I'll do that. Because they are both the driving force well, so, of the show. They're so necessary. And they're integral the to each other. The chemistry is so yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. See, I would have gone with but Bella But not as one over. entry, right? As their own entries? <laughs> no, yeah, as, as their own, own entries. entries. Okay. Yeah. I, I would have gone with Bella over Pedro if I had to choose between the two of them. You're, you're just mired from um, Mandalorian. You got what I, we call got, the Mandalorian I, Meyer. I got, I got, I got uh, <laughs> Pedro burnout. I think a little bit. <laughs> I'm Pedro out. I'm all Pedro out. I'm Pascal out. Okay, so the list currently is uh, Ray Fiennes, Pedro Pascal, Killian Murphy, Raul Julia, and Bella Ramsey. That's a good list. Now the remaining people we didn't talk about is in, Inaki Godoy. Yeah, that's a good list. Uh, Matthew McConaughey, yeah. Ryan Gosling, Kamiki oh. Rinosuke. And Joaquin Phoenix is Commodus. Two of us voted for Commodus and Joaquin Phoenix. I know. I mean, and it's tough to leave him off. Like, he we is. You don't have to. We he, can put him in. I know. He's one of the reasons why the film is so good. It's true. Like, like yeah. he is such a hateable He's villain. He's such a good villain. He yeah. is. So I think, he, I think he should be on the list. So you think he should be on there before Inaki Godoy from One Piece? Yeah. That's tough. tough. That's tough. It's tough. It's really hard. Honestly, this is That's probably actually, one of the hardest ones. Really it is. List. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Also, I thought Vanessa Kirby as Josephine did a fantastic she did. job. Yeah. I, I mean, she, like, it's just, she's, the problem is the movie is just so not It is. Good. It's, <laughs> it's tough to look around the movie. It is. That's just her performance. Yeah. So what do we think? Do we go with the five we have or do we add somebody else? Do we add Commodus? I think we add Commodus. Steven? Put it in there. Dark Horse. It. Okay. It's not, not even a Dark Horse. I know it's not. <laughs> I mean, you're Dark Horsing someone by putting him in there. <laughs> We're Dark Horsing somebody. <laughs> oh, I got Dark Horse. I feel it. <laughs> All right. The next category is Clever Girl, the biggest twist or surprise in a movie or series. Steven, take it away. <laughs> oh, man, my list. Uh, so Scott Pilgrim taking off in his own show and just disappearing. I mean, that's a good I, pick. It was actually a good that's twist. That's on my list, too. I'll go yeah. ahead. It's a twist. Uh, Joan, who is this guy who looks just like that guy? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> the moment of just like, is this the same I, actor? Am I, I, I being I, racist? I didn't have they that all look the same. <laughs> oh, uh, it threw man. me for such a hard loop. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Barbie becoming a secondary character in her own movie. Uh, okay. I didn't expect that. I'm not saying that that's a good choice. I just didn't expect it at I, all. I, so I went with actual plot twists. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just held this up for interpretation. No, that's uh, fine. So what do you, what do you Scott, got? Scott Pilgrim takes off. Okay. So you, yeah. there's three for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Witch for Mercury, because there are two big twists in the actual plot of the, the story that if hit, you're not paying attention, they're bonkers crazy hit me with the first one uh well the fact that her sister is I, my list has the sister on here yeah so like the, her no, sister I that was is the second one what's the, the first what, what that was the second one uh the well i mean then you have like the the big twist where Gwell accidentally kills his dad <laughs> that that her mom gets away with genocide yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, living out of cozy a cozy retirement there's just a lot of like twists and turns that, in there that was that, just a, a yeah disaster on the, that one uh what else you got uh, yeah, uh, girl, the sister one is uh, I think I think it that's just was, it. Just wasn't a the twist internet. In my mind. Most was, of the internet didn't see it coming. The internet which is stupid. I agree. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> anyways, carry on. Anyways, what do you got? Uh, and then I also had across the Spider Verse. I thought the twist at the end of the film was really really good. Whenever the double he, goes, oh, good. he, he, see, go, he goes to the wrong. That. Yeah. that was good. I thought that was a fantastic was twist because I didn't see it coming because I, I didn't pay attention. Especially in I'll, that, I'll vote for that one. That yeah. run of films where it was like Fast X ends on cliffhanger. Okay, whatever, guys. Across the first, it's like, what the heck? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, because that one, that at one least actually has a like, lot of like, emotional yeah. weight. Yeah. Like, yeah. So the only thing I had that we didn't already mention was specifically the Bill and Frank episode of The Last of Us. And was, I was, was totally questionable different. about that because it was so different from the games. Yeah. That to I, me, almost, I almost had that on there, yeah. but I hadn't played the game, so I didn't want to like... Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that that would be something di or different or whatever. Right, yeah. And so that's why I was like, do I put this on the list? But for me, it was a huge twist in a mm -hmm. good way. It was like, whoa, they did yeah. what? But yeah, uh, I, I think I think G-Witch, uh, Scott Pilgrim for yeah. sure, obviously. And Across the Spider-Verse, I think, had a those, fantastic those are very yeah. solid, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Scott Pilgrim takes off, G-Witch, and then Across the Spider-Verse. 
That's three. I have a feeling that this next one is going to be all the same for all of us. <laughs> it probably is. Okay, so that's three. We've still got. I don't think there's anything more on there. Joan, who's this guy? I don't think. But that well, that's the thing. Way. I don't think that counts as a twist. That it just was counts. a little bit of a twist. <laughs> but just for because you, you didn't. You're, yeah, because you just. <laughs> I just could not process that moment at all. So I mean, Barbie becoming a secondary character? Uh, I don't think she did. I think, I think Ken didn't did. get enough of a, a, a he didn't final. Get, he didn't get a payoff at all. No. For him to be more. Than, yeah. yeah. yeah and fine. then The Last of Us, Frank and Bill. Uh, I just don't know. I, I don't I, I have that's just a directional choice. And that's sure. not really yeah. like a twist in the story. Within, within the series yeah. itself, it's yeah. not really a twist. It's a twist on what you thought. I don't know. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. So just three. Well, because that's the thing. It's I'm, not a twist if you haven't played the games. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm fine with it just being three. Because I really yeah. didn't feel like we had a lot of twists. We did. Yeah. We it's did. a twist. Yeah. I mean, and it's funny, too, because we left out Glass Onion, which has the twist in it. Nobody it cares. I almost put that one Nobody on there, but cares. I was like, it's bad. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it, it, well, put I thought speaking the, of put it on the list, so no, it. do not put that it's on the list. Twist. We need twists. We don't have any twists. It's a twist. It's not enough twists. Whatever. No one will vote for it. Watch it win. We need, <laughs> no. Next, next year, we need to watch at least one M. Night Shyamalan on a ding dong. We movie. have to. <laughs> so we have a twist. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. The next category is sad trombone. <laughs> Wait. Nope. <laughs> Neither one of those. Anyways, sad trombone movie series that let us movie or series that let us down. Do I start on this one? Uh, yep. Yeah, because okay. you laid that one up. You go for it. Mandalorian season three. Wow. I Super Mario this. Brothers. I know how. How could that let you down? How could you expect that to be anything else? Glass it, Onion. Fair. <laughs> Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning. Really fair. Indiana Jones five. Okay, no, no, you can't. No, everyone knew. The creator. No, you can still be disappointed. I was for sure. Everyone knew that film was going to be a three. Just because it was a one isn't that big a surprise. <laughs> it, it is actually. <laughs> <laughs> like the the worst thing you can be as an Indiana Jones film is boring. God, yeah. isn't that the truth? So that was my list. So I, I will go ahead and say Indy, Dial of Destiny, just because I thought there's no way this is worse look, than Kingdom of the Crystal I look, Skull. Well, look. And it was. <laughs> look, okay. Our name for it was Indiana Jones and the Dial of Disappointment. Yep, it's on sure. the list. It's yeah, on exactly. the list. <laughs> okay, so you had Mando Season 3, Super Mario Brothers, Glass Onion, Dead Reckoning, Indy, Dial of Destiny, and The Creator. Yeah. Okay. I'll go next. I got Indy and the Dial of Destiny, <laughs> Ant-Man Quantum Mania, Mandalorian Season 3, The Flash... No, I, we already knew that one was going to be bad. I still didn't think it'd be as as bad as it was. It was like it's the same as bad. Indiana Jones in my mind. I knew it was not going to be great, <laughs> but it like su- exceeded my like you had it Michael exceeded Keaton your expectations of disappointment. You had Michael Keaton. <laughs> exceeded my you showed me you showed me the Batmobile and never cranked it up. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that, to me, is beyond disappointing. It's like, you know how to nostalgia bait, but you didn't even <laughs> yeah. put a hook in here, guys. I Come know. on. And then I had the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's just a worm flopping on yeah, the ground. Yeah, I know. You don't have to catch anything with that. <laughs> All right, Steve, what'd you have? Uh, Mando Season 3. Okay, three for that. John Wick Chapter 4. Okay. Uh, yeah. Napoleon. Oh, well, that's sad. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, can, I can see it. I yeah. can definitely see it. Uh, kaleidoscope. Okay. I yeah. A, I, and it's all on the format. I had such high hopes for how sure. for the format. Yeah. No, I, 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 I can yeah, understand I that. Can yeah. that yeah. Uh, honorable mention, Wheel of Time Season 2. <laughs> okay. We didn't even review it. We did it out of here. I won't put it on the list, but we, I will agree. We didn't <laughs> review it because we couldn't get through it. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually very we true. We just forced true. ourselves to watch it. It was yeah. so bad. <laughs> it deserves to be on here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so right now, our t- you done? That's your whole list. Yeah. Okay, we got Mando season three, Super Mario Brothers the movie, Glass Onion, Am I Dead Reckoning, Indie Dial of Destiny, The Creator, Ant Man, The Flash, John Wick four, Napoleon, and Kaleidoscope. So okay. definitely okay. Mandalorian season definitely three. Definitely Mando season three. Definitely Indy. Indy Indiana definite, Jones yeah. for sure. I think I, Dead. I think Dead Reckoning should be on this list. I was I, not disappointed in Dead well, Reckoning. That's the I thing wasn't very really impressed though either. I wasn't impressed enough uh-huh. to cons- like. I still think it's a good film, but I was really hoping that it could top Fallout, and see, it didn't. Ooh, see, okay, that's kind of like, like this. Way. I'm not saying like, oh, this was a bad film. I was disappointed in the fact it let that you it, down. It let me down. Okay. Well, I'll put it to you this way. Prior to us deciding to review it, right? Yeah. I was lukewarm on the film. We went back. We did the whole and we Mission Impossible tight. series. And we were like, yeah. these are some really good films. They this are. has been a lot of fun. I'm so glad we did this. And then Dead Reckoning just kind of 
flatlined out. It was like, uh See, I wouldn't say flatlined. No, uh, like, but it, it definitely did, it didn't surpass. Yes, but like Fallout was or it, Ghost Protocol. Was it better than Fallout or Ghost Protocol? No. no. Was it better than like MI three? I think it was better uh, than yeah. Well, uh, parts of it. Okay, here's the real. Question. <laughs> There's parts of three I don't like at all. Yeah. But, but here's the real question. I think it's better way, than Rogue Nation. Was it better than MI two? Yes. Just because MI2 is such a it's a better It was level. less entertaining than right, MI2. Right? <laughs> right? But yeah. I, okay, I, I'm good putting that on there yeah. from that perspective. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Super Mario Brothers. I, two of us have that on our I list. I just don't see how you could be disappointed by something that was never going to be. My it thing was this. Good. It's the same as, as, as everything else of like, as a kid, if you told me you're getting a CG, you know, Mario movie, I'd have been like, oh my gosh. And then seeing what they did, it was just milk toast. It was just... They, it they, was the safest the possible safest, film yeah. that they could have made. I mean, that's fine. It can be on there. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me read else. What else do we have? We've got Glass Onion. We've got The Creator, Ant-Man. Okay, the Creator needs to be on there. Creator needs to be uh, that, on there. That yeah. universe has so much promise. I, I was so hyped for it because it looked so unique. Yeah. So to get there and see what yeah. it was, it was kind of like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. Um, how do we feel about <laughs> Napoleon? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think that it matched exactly what I was expecting it to be, which was an over overly dense historical biopic. Okay. It's just not a good film. I wasn't super disappointed with it. Yeah. I wasn't either like I enjoyed it. Super hyped for it. Man, I could have yeah. if I didn't have to review it, I could have just left. I'd have gone home. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good film. So John Wick Four, did that let you down because it wasn't I, as good? I already as, knew what going into it, it was, expect. So it was see, it's a superhero. So in our episode though, we said it's the best John Wick since the first one. I agree. I didn't. So I, to me, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> me and, me Steven and, did. Yeah, me and Ryan did, but I agree. I I, 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 I don't think it disappointed though. No. I think it did. Okay. I think it disappointed you had, by about you had Donnie Yen in there, you had here. To me, it disappointed by about thirty five minutes. To me, it increased John Wick two and three it surpassed yeah. us. so for me it surprised yeah. me I was yeah. like oh it's going back up surpassing mm -hmm. two and three isn't a hype so how do we feel about Ant-Man I was as someone who liked the uh -huh. first Ant-Man okay this the, one just the fell the flat yeah, the trajectory I didn't MCU have any expectations with a, yeah. with a Marvel film really okay. zero expectations the trajectory was this already is, not good this is one of the first point. Marvel films that I was like oh no Disney what are y'all doing like that, 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 I've been like that for years that came out after Thor since what Endgame yeah that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different issue. It is okay. So, but you don't. So you're not giving it that. No, so what about so. Glass Onion? Nah. I mean, like, I was disappointed fine. in it. Like I, I like just, Knives Out a lot, so yeah, I was yeah, disappointed I, I mean, in Glass they're Onion. Just, both of those films are just kind of fine. I'd be okay to put Glass Onion on there. Though. I, I well, cause because I, I think everyone was really hyped about Glass Onion. Let's put it on there. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Because they were. There was a lot of talk around that. Okay, so our six right now is Mando season three, Indie Dollar Destiny. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, Super Mario, Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. I'm all hopped up on cough hey, medicine. Give it's me a that pack, <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Pass it over. And then we got the creator and Glass Onion. Yeah, I think that's, that's, a, that's yeah, a pretty solid list. Yeah. Okay. Wheel of Time Season 2. <laughs> Honorable Just question. keep saying it. You I can know. write it in. <laughs> okay. Uh, didn't see that coming. Movie or series that was surprisingly good. Ryan, I'll lead start. Yeah. Uh, RRR. Yeah. Yes. Surprised me a lot. Um, One Piece surprised yep. me a lot. Yes. yes. Um, Which from Mercury? Bebop died for that. God. <laughs> 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 it did. Uh, I've got Witch from Mercury on here. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Because I was like, okay, this is well, probably. Well, you're, be you're right. also not big on the Gundam scene, so I can understand that. I'm not. Like, really, mo. 8th MS team is probably the yeah. only one that I've been like, I love this. Mm -hmm. Everything else I've been like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it, it surprised I me. I can see that, yeah. I uh, mean, Godzilla minus one. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be that good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not at all. That's mine. What do you got, Steven? All right. Well, let's, let's, let's just let's place the ditto game. Godzilla yeah. minus one. Nice. One Piece live action. Nice. RRR. Nice. And then Paprika. Ooh. Ooh okay. Okay. So okay. I had uh, Dungeons and Dragons. That's, oh. a good, that's also a good pick. That could have that movie yeah. could have been terrible. Godzilla yeah. minus one. Yeah. Nice. One piece live action. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> RRR. Nice. And Juwan. Okay, yeah, Juwan. Yeah. I yeah. think RR had me so primed that when we watched the Juwan well, trailer, I was, I was like, already this like, has gotta be nuts. <laughs> I was really worried at the beginning of Juwan. That's fair. Now that's true. Midway that through I that was, film, sure. I was and like, I was like this is RRR. I was like, I really like this. Like, it did, it did kind of, by the end of it, I was like, everything clicked into place. This yeah. is incredible. <laughs> Ow. Okay, so we have, 
I think RR has got to be on the list. Yes. Yep. Clearly. Godzilla minus one, obviously. Yes. Godzilla minus one. One piece live action. Yes. One piece. Godzilla. I like the D&D hat pick. Because, again, I don't I, hate it. That yeah. film could have been a disaster. It, it could have been an absolute disaster. It could disaster. have easily been a disaster. Very, very and, good. And it had so much heart and earnest uh, It with deserved it. so much more at the So, box really, office. the only other thing would be Joan. I mean, I think I think RRR already kind of takes that spot. I think so. Because yeah. the other stuff was G-Witch for me and Paprika for Steven, which, like... Which, I think both of those, like, like being a gun, big Gundam fan, like, yeah. watching just yeah, the G-Witch, first... I, I was already hyped for it. Right. So. Yeah, G-Witch didn't surprise me at all. I yeah. knew it was going to be good. Mm-hmm. And then... Like Paprika didn't surprise me. Yeah, like I, you know, yeah. I was like, I it's knew just a Satoshi Khan's gonna buck wild. I see. That's the thing is, I hadn't watched any Satoshi Khan until Paprika. Okay, so yeah, that was just a you buck wild millennium actress. Oh shoot, yes I have. Okay, yeah. I take yeah. that back. You lied right to I us. Did. <laughs> so so Wait, hold on, Perfect Blue is him too. Crap. Yes. Crap. Perfect Blue. You double yes. lied. Crap. <laughs> so we've got four. We got RR, One Piece, Godzilla minus one, and D and D. I think that's it. That's a good list. Cool. Yeah. Moving on. God, we had some good films this year. All right, not just for kids. The best anime or CG movies and series from the year. Steven, this is take a short list. This is a real easy list. So let's go. The Suzume. Yep. Let's go. The Spider Man. <laughs> the Spider Man. The Spider Man. <laughs> let's go. The G Witch. Yep. And let's go the boy in the heron. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's definitely not a kid's film. Yeah, so I yeah. basically have Suzume, uh-huh. G-Witch, uh-huh. Okay. Across the Spider-Verse, uh-huh. okay. Boy in the Heron. Yeah, hey, what do you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Those are, let's see, the only difference I had on mine was I had uh, Mutant Mayhem and Kiki's Delivery Service. So Kiki's Delivery Service is still for kids? And same thing with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, Because it says... But well, it's, not, best it's best not anime or okay, CG. Okay, okay, okay. Like, like yeah. Kiki like, still hits. You're when such does. a slave she, to rubrics. When she break out, when she <laughs> bakes that cake as a kid, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. As an adult, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not just for kids. All right, that's fine. I mean, yeah. I'm totally fine with Kiki being. <laughs> Andrew's, on Andrew's, ar- Andrew's just, arguing for us to not. I never Kiki's. thought I'd have this no, guy go. Kiki's delivery service. Doesn't be on the list. Get it out of here. Actually, yeah. Boys, are they milking you? <laughs> yeah, like to me, I was like that. That alone oh my gets it. God, in. that payoff there. Okay, oh. uh, I also had Scott Pilgrim's take, takes off, but I don't know if it's like the best of the year. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't th- I wouldn't consider it. Like I had it on my list initially, it, and I was I like, too. I looked back on it, I'm like, I really only liked a couple parts of it. It has right, its yeah. moments. It has yeah, moments. It also has moments where it's like, okay, get on with it. The, yeah. the editing could have been tighter. There's yeah. like stuff they yeah. could have done better. Okay, so our list right now is Suzume, Spider Verse, G Witch, Boy in the Heron, Mutant Mayhem, Kiki's Delivery Service. Anything we're taking? I off think of that. all of those are fine. That's our list right yeah, that's, that's a good list, list. Okay. yeah slam dunk it just that's the list <laughs> hold on let me note that because i was like this is my my jot down section instead of the like, qualifiers it's the same thing next up andrew we got work that dolly work that dolly uh, coolest so, shooting and editing moment of the year uh 1917 the opening trench scene through no yep. man's land okay yep. right right when they get to the german Dude, trench the, that entire no section land, See, i've into got the crater and ugh, back out yeah just absolute bonkers i've got the night widow scene i mean that one's still fantastic that goes through the, yeah, the, the, yeah. The, the, the flare i would just, be fine with anything from anything from 1917 yeah. yeah no it's all over it's just back to back waters it's stupid the inception hallway fight I've got that yep. Yep. which is killer. Yep. And then I also have Paprika, the dream sequencing editing. Okay. That, okay. That's I like that. Like I like that. I like really, that really well done, and it, it keeps it nice and punchy. Yeah. So that's you got, yeah, three, that's all yeah. I got. I've got 1917. Uh, I've got The Creator, just because there were so many scenes that were cinematic, like the beach scene at oh, night. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, With like the big like light coming dude, down for the, Nomad. Everything about the Nomad light beam it's was right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Um, I've also got The Last of Us on here, just because like, especially the opening when like the fungus and the terror spreading through the town yeah. as they're escaping with the daughter at the front. Yeah, I can agree with that. Um, and it's, it's basically verbatim from the game. Yeah, it's pretty much right. Yeah. But it's still like, it's just like, they did a good job with the neighbor, the whole setting oh, up, yes. that stuff Agreed, yeah. that kicks that whole thing off, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, what else do I have? I had across the Spider-Verse, specifically the scene where he's escaping the Spider HQ. Yeah, that's yes. Jumping fine. around yeah. yes. and all that stuff. Uh, and that's all I had. Steven, what do you got? Uh, I got 1917, just pick pick a scene. It, just, it, just, it doesn't, yeah, doesn't it's matter. Like, just throw it at a dartboard. Yeah. Uh, I have the RRR Arrest That Man sequence. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, the Jawan helicopter kick. Where the camera, the camera oh, yeah. spins, spins with her as yeah, she yeah, goes yeah. under it. I that one's really fun. Because as soon as she went, I was like, dude, that, that machine gunner's 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> going for a flight. Uh, I had the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse escape the HQ. Okay, sequence. I mean, okay. That, so was, that was, that was on my short list. bonkers sequence. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then <clears throat> I wanted a second one. I will get to it. That's that's my list. We'll get to it with Andrew because he yeah. had one that I was going to second. But okay. Paprika? Probably. Yeah. All right, so... The list is 1917. Pick Duh. your scene. Slam yeah, just dunk. put it on there. <laughs> Inception, <laughs> the hallway fight. That's also a slam dunk, I think. Uh, Paprika, yeah. the... Uh, just dream sequencing. Whenever dream. like he's he's editing between reality and what they think is real. The creator, again, pick a I scene. Pick There's a like scene. the attack yeah. on the, the yeah, village at the fantastic. end. There's like so many oh, shots. There's really so many good shots in that. Uh, the Last of Us, Across the Spider-Verse. RR specifically arrest that man, but there's a lot in RR. I think I think across the Spider Verse deserves to be on that. And then Jawan helicopter click uh, kick. Okay, so we got 1917. We got across the Spider Verse for sure. Uh, Inception hallway. I mean, think we're. I, I think yeah. I think that has to be on there. I mean, they built a whole hallway on. So are we rollers. are we listing the scene specifically? So when yeah. people vote, it's the Inception hallway yes. scene. Yes, okay. gotcha. So in 1917, that means do we need to pick, <gasps> or should we just say the movie? Come I on, I think I think yeah, like like <laughs> get the, real. <laughs> the, the trench runner all the way out to passing through no man's land. I, I think just it's just really impressive. But stupid. honestly, the night scene is really impressive it's also too because it, it's going yeah. from walking to running to jumping. Yeah, like uh, it, like and they're moving the camera every like, single time also, to all these different yeah. also things. Also, the, like as he starts running down the trench at the end, yeah. they're, they're handing the camera up onto a truck onto a onto right. an arm. Like yeah. I, I mean, like what do you pick? What do you pick? I don't they're know. All <laughs> phenomenal. Oh. 1917. All the scenes. <laughs> and pick a scene. <laughs> Okay, and in Spider Verse, we're doing Escape the HQ, right? Yeah, yes. I think that one's really good. Okay, that's three. What else did we mention that we think has to be on there? We had Paprika. Oh, we I, had the I creator. Think, I think Paprika, just because Satoshi Khan is really known for his editing Those prowess. Those transitions. And his transitions are just not phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Especially whenever she's in the. Um, uh, she thinks she's in like the carnival area and she jumps over the, 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 uh, rail, the, the rail, railing. Yeah. And then it's. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we got 1917, all the scenes. Across the Spider-Verse, Escape the HQ. Inception, the hallway fight. Paprika, the dream sequencing slash transitions. The other stuff we mentioned was the creator. Yeah, I think creator I think should be I in there. Like, yeah. Just like shots of Nomad for the creator are just so okay. good. Yeah. Just the, the, the big landscape with the big blue tracking. So just beam. shots of the Nomad. Yeah, like, oh, gosh. Okay. And God, then, that film was beautiful. It really <laughs> it was. was. It makes me so, so unfortunate. <laughs> Uh, and then we had uh, The Last of Us. Do we feel like that one gets on here? Eh. I mean, I'm, I I would be fine with it on the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like I'm not I'm not against it. I'm not just not for it because we currently have five. Yeah, I think we five's like, enough. We like it's the five. number we like. We like I five. think five's enough. We really you know, we were like it could either be four or six, and then all of us average that or it's just five. Five, <laughs> five, 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 five. Okay, so no RR, no Joan. No. Uh, so our final list then is 1917. Just pick a scene. Across the Spider Verse, Escape the HQ, Inception, the Hallway Fight, Paprika, the Dream Sequencing, and Transitions, the Creator, Shots of the Nomad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that brings us to the final category. Oh man, it's been a long journey. <laughs> the Golden Spoily Award, Best of the Year. Best of the Year. So who's up? Is it uh, Steven? I think it's me. I think it's Steven. Steven. Yeah. Okay, yeah. go for it. All right, well, I'm gonna take all y'all all y'all's answers. You probably are. <laughs> RRR. Yep, that's it. Oppenheimer. No one saw those coming. One Piece live action. Ooh, that's it. That's a dark horse. That's on mine, too. (laughs) Jawan. That's interesting. 1917. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we actually are That's most of my list. We're going to have some differences here. (laughs) Okay. So I have Oppenheimer. Okay. Yeah. Suzume. Okay, all right, all right. 1917. Go figure. Uh, Godzilla minus one. Yep, that's on mine. Yeah. RRR. That's I had my, that on my list. No, I know, but you know Godzilla minus one? You what? Well, you know. But like the, RR is right there. Godzilla minus one. <laughs> you haven't seen it in black and white yet. I would love to see it in black it's and white. It's coming out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell when All we're right. recording this just so, by that comment. <laughs> I had RRR, uh-huh. Oppenheimer, uh-huh. The Last of Us, because uh-huh. I really liked that yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Godzilla minus one, One Piece, uh, across the Spider Verse in 1917. Actually, mm. I'm surprised that both of us left off Across the Spider Verse. I'm surprised that you guys both left off Suzume. 
it's a really good movie. I can't believe I did too. Now that I've rewatched yeah. it this weekend and I'm looking at my list, it's I'm going incredible. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. It being I, th- I, I think the, it is. I think it is one of the most accessible anime genre films. I think the problem period. is I've still only seen it the once. Well, that's a, your I own have, I haven't taken the time to go back and watch it amongst other things. I've watched it like six times I know, this year. I know. <laughs> I saw it I, twice in theaters. I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. Suzume is good. I don't mind it being on the list, but I feel like there's a lot of good stuff. No, there, there's some fantastic that was actually the films real this year. Was I was yeah. trying to not just be like, what if it's half the things we and reviewed I, this I year? I also <laughs> agree that, that One Piece live action and Last of Us should be on this list. I think that they're both really, really good TV shows. I agree, and I will put them on the list because that's two people. That's all we need. Steven, sorry. <laughs> I said One Piece on my list. <laughs> I'm just playing. I didn't even have it on the list, and I agree. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, clearly, Oppenheimer 1917 need to be on the list. RRR. RRR. I think RRR has got to be on there. I think Godzilla Minus One needs to be on there. I'm going I with think that. it's, yeah, I, I agree with that one. Yeah. That's the problem, man. Like, this is, there's so a hold good on, list. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Honestly, I think that we just put everything that we named on here, and that's it. Because I think <laughs> every like single, I think oh. everything that's Make on this list. Make it the biggest category. Needs to be in the running. Okay, so, well, so what we have possible is RR Oppenheimer, One Piece, Jawan, 1917. Not Jawan. Susan May, you just said everything. No, you don't get I to forgot, take it back I that fast. I forgot that you said, I forgot <laughs> See, that you said no, Jawan. No, no, I've got you all, on recording saying comes, everything. It all comes together so neatly, Exactly. Though. Jawan, 1917, Susan May, Godzilla Minus One, The Last of Us, I put Susan May on here twice because <laughs> you kept talking about it. So I, kept, I kept like listening. And Across the Spider-Verse, I can't believe. I can't believe it either. But Yeah. Like, it's a very good it's movie. It's a good movie. Uh, I feel like in, in a lot of, like, n- not to compare us to other awards, but, like, Across the Spider-Verse is cleaning up right now. None of us put The Boy and the Heron on there, which I'm like, wow. Well, no, no. Okay, so that's the thing. I think The Boy and the Heron is one of Miyazaki's best films. I don't think it is one of the best films of the year. I agree completely. That's why I didn't yeah. have it on my Yeah, life. no, it's 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 a... So if Andrew's making the argument, right, Susan May is one of the most accessible animes, yeah. I feel like Boy in the Hair might be one of the most inaccessible. It, it might be. Yes, yeah. It is. It's just a bonkers film. But to that point, like, award season-wise, Susan May is not even in the list well, in the no, conversation. No, that's the thing is yeah. Susan May is popcorn. Sure. Like Boy it's in, still Boy very, in the very Heron good. It's still a fantastic film, but yeah. Boy in the Heron is a very deep emotional it's a, film. It's a it's very, depression popcorn. It's, it's, it's a very <laughs> awards baby type film. It well, is, and, yeah. And, yeah, and that's the thing is like Across the Spider Verse is what people know. Now I will sure. say Across the Spider Verse, like some of those sequences, like Gwen with her dad, where they're, they're doing like, the, the, like they're, the they're washing absolutely of fantastic. colors, like ugh. Yeah, oh, you didn't like that. Okay, I did. No, he oh. did. Yeah, uh, you went uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, Oh, like good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, ugh. <laughs> that was ew, ew. Steven just showed us his O face. Ugh. <laughs> ugh. All right, so. <laughs> so Andrew's saying everything but Jawan. <laughs> everything but Jawan. <laughs> okay, so that would be RRR. Oppenheimer, One Piece, 1917, Susan May, Godzilla Minus One, and The Last of Us. I think that's fine. That's a good list. Okay, it's the I only would, seven oh, factor list. I would list. think it's stretched to take something off that list. Yeah, because like One Piece live action was such a tour de force of fun. I watched five episodes of that in a day. Yeah. Not on purpose. And coming from Steven, that's a very big... Well, I've also like binged through like The Last of Us because I had to. Yeah. I didn't mean to do that for for One Piece. One yeah. Piece. I was just like doing yeah, another and, episode. And Last of Us is also just a fantastic drama. You have Godzilla minus one, which was like the sleeper hit. Did I put Across the Spider Verse in that? I, I don't, know. don't know. I don't, I don't know. think. It, I think that's eight. Sorry. That's I don't still care. Fine. It went I to another care. page. It went to another page. It's okay. still fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Just make okay. it the biggest category. I mean, but Across the Spider-Verse is definitely a, a fantastic film. I didn't sure. have it on my list because it is the second film in the series. Why would that? Just because... Andrew's like, from I've Earth. ignored your rubric and substituted my own. <laughs> well, <laughs> mostly, you, you can't watch that film without seeing the first one. Okay. That's a little, it's still that's a, a very fair. enjoyable movie. No, it, it's great. Like, it's a if spectacular you, film. Okay, so we're having eight in the final category. It. It's Go One it. Piece, live action, The Last of Us, 1917, RRR, Oppenheimer, Godzilla Minus One, Suzume, and Across the Spider-Verse. That's yeah. a great list. It's a really good list. It is. Yeah, we had such a good okay. year of watching stuff. Good that Lord. <laughs> is our nominations for the spoilies. Oh, to man. reiterate it, the spoily awards, the spoilies, will happen the same night as the Oscars. We're going to do it both 
an episode will go live. So if you want to listen to the podcast version, you can. It'll hit the same night as the It'll Oscars. It'll be substantially shorter than this episode. Boy, will it ever. For sure. <laughs> and the a YouTube version, we'll do a YouTube premiere. So if you want to watch us and see us do the spoilies Looking live. Looking stupid. Looking stupid. You can catch it on our YouTube channel. Just search Spoilers Intended Podcast or Spoilers Intended. You'll find us on YouTube. We're there. And... Again, we are not going to know the winners. We're going to put up a, a Google form for this so everyone can vote. So if you're hearing this right now, go to spoilersintendedpodcast.com. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. If you're in our Discord, we've we'll posted post in the Discord. There. If you're one of our fantastic, very attractive, very cool patrons. Brilliant, brilliant, great decision Genius makers. people. Patrons. Financial geniuses. Financial geniuses. You've invested. If this <laughs> was Shark Tank, <laughs> to the moon. Anyways. We've posted it there. Anywhere you interact with us, we have posted how you can vote in this right now. So everyone gets to vote. We don't have like any kind of, we have just a single vote between the three of us. Just like every, if a hundred people vote, we only got three says in that. Okay. So yep. this is for the people, by the people, unlike the Oscars. Do we want to go over everything again? No. 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 <laughs> Spend 30 minutes going over every category. All right. So. Is there anything else we got to say before we wrap up? No, guys? I don't no, think so. Thank you. For, Did I hit everything? For sticking with us. <laughs> if you stick with us all the way to now. Bless your bones. And just just you listening, listening to us hash some of this out. Bless Hopefully your Hopefully it's entertaining, but also woof. Yeah. Woof. <laughs> yes. So in that case. But you know what? Unlike the Academy, a completely transparent process. It really was. It, it was, was very transparent. Yeah. And... I'll ne you'll never see the Academy have, you know, Susan May for best <laughs> of the year. <laughs> and like, I mean, you got Tim Curry on this list. Like, you're not going to see that on the Oscars. Yeah, we got no. a lot going. On. OK, so as we said, go vote right now. Vote in the spoilies. We'll have them Oscars night. That'd be great. Till next time. I'm Ryan. I'm Andrew. And I'm Steven. And every spoiler was intended. <laughs> <laughs>